Hello everyone, good day, Ellie here, and we will get started in about the next minute. Uh, we'll be working to try to get through ARR uh, 2.3 today, hopefully all of it, but we'll see. We will see. Um, getting closer to the end of A Realm Reborn, and then afterwards it's uh, Heaven's Word and Beyond. Ooh, exciting. Alright, so I am just going to switch things around here. So let's just get into game. There we are. And uh, last time we finished up, we beat up Leviathan, which was a very... I don't know, it seemed to be a little bit disappointing, a sort of fight. Um, and... Telegi Adelegi? Is that the Lollipop's name? Yeah. Seems like he's up to something. Uh, something about revolution. And honestly, I liked a lot of the Lollipop's before. I, um, Nanamo was rather nice. And Papa Sean was really nice. So I thought, oh, but Lollipop's not too bad. Then there's Telegi Adelegi. And then there's Lolorito. And then I realized, eh, maybe not all Lollipop's are the greatest things uh, since sliced spread. Oh well. So let's just see what Minfili has to say. The Great Divide. Our friends, the very Isle itself, everyone and everything. Oh yeah, the Isle of Val is gone and uh, Minfilia's friend, I think uh, Kryl, uh, might have been on that island, uh, that island too. Some sort of power that was similar to Ultima if I remember correctly. No, no, it avails us not to speculate. Riyanshe will send word if there are any developments. Until such time as he does, we must remain firmly focused on that which is within our power to change. With that in mind, I would speak of a different matter, one closer to home. What do you have in mind? It concerns etheric fluctuations, which we had previously attributed to good King Mogomog the Twelfth. Forever may his palm be shiny. That the king is no more is a blessing for which we have you to thank. Yet, all is not well in the Twelfth's Wood. Our latest readings reveal an ongoing etheric disturbance of considerable magnitude. They may even suggest the presence of a primal. Oh. Um... Well, I don't think it's Mogul Mog coming back. The only one that I can think of in the Twelves would be Rama? But I thought they weren't... Oh, gosh, already. I thought that the... Um... Uh, needless to say, the mere possibility warrants immediate investigation, and I, and I would have you... Have me what? Isila? I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. Oh, what's the problem? Uh, what manner of problem? A band of refugees hailing from Ulda this time are, at, are come to Renovance Toll seek us all- Oh no! Because we helped the Domans, I guess, the Alamegans are wanting help too now? It would seem they expect us to afford them the same treatment we gave the Domans. Okay, yeah, that sort of makes sense. Considering you helped one, the other one's going to be saying, well, why didn't you help us? At present, they are in the seventh head of an, waiting a formal response. I see. Mayhap this was to be expected. I shall meet with them at once. Isila, you know full well we have in the resources to accommodate many more people. Consider what will happen if you do this. Word will spread and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear this suit. Elise, I should be grateful for your presence at this meeting. Uh, you fear it's gonna turn sour? I hope there isn't going to be fists flying or anything. That'd be worse. Uh, let's see. 
Leave the solar, yep. And we have to go to the seventh heaven, which is just outside. Uh, Hosan, you giddy. Yeah, the domains are um, fitting in quite nicely. But yeah, this is definitely a problem. Definitely a very big problem. Not as much of a problem as my internet connection. <sighs> okay, it's coming back, I think, or so I hope. Maybe, maybe. There we go. We're back, hopefully. Maybe. Nope. Uh, there we go. Okay, so where do we go? Oh, Draggle Tailed Refugee. I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Science of the Seventh Dawn. It's well be praised. It is you. We're ready and willing to work. It's just same as Stolman's. Just give us a task and we'll see it done. Pray, calm yourselves. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know not of your situation. Beg your pardon, antecedent. I, I ain't so good with words. We've been living off the scraps of Ulda for years now, trying to piece together a, pla a life to replace the one we, one, what God took. They say there's work, but there's nothing not for not for an honest man. Not as when Sully is soul sooner than his palms any road. The flames do what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. And it's only getting worse. When the calamity brought us to our knees, those rich bastards in the city didn't help us. They climbed on our backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. I knew we had to run. Only question is to where, and then it came to me. Run events toll. I mean, you took those foreigners in, didn't you? So surely you do the same for us. I... I fear the situation is more complicated. While it is true that we accepted the Doman's petition for aid, that decision was the product of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathize deeply with your plight, but pre please under pray understand that it was not possible for an organization of our means to aid all who have been affected by the calamity. And so it is with great regret that I must deny your request. But... But we've got nowhere else to go. You're turning our back, your backs on us? If I might have a word. Tataru! Tataru is Autumnus. Ill tidings from Ulda, my lady. Alphano has... Alphano has been wounded. Oh my gosh. Did he, who did he piss off? What? How? Is it serious? I cannot say for certain, but I fear it might be. According to the flames, the refugees started a riot. They went wild, apparently, lashing out at any and everyone. Oh. Wait. Teleji mentioned something about revolution. Is he spurring on the... the old does to... the, um, Alamegans to cause chaos, but what exactly, what purpose would that serve? Just to cause the flames to be like more stretched, but I can't see the end goal. This can't be right. Why would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Oh gods, demonstration? Now what? Seven hells. Now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us up and kill anyone who tries to resist. Antecedent, please, if you won't help us build a new life, 
at least help us keep the ones we got. I agree, we have to step in. My lady. We're not ones to stand idly by and watch innocents suffer. However, until we know more about the circumstances surrounding this riot, I'm not certain what aid, if any, we can provide. If the authorities determine that the refugee is attacked without provocation, then those responsibles will have to answer for their actions. How can you be so blind? Find Alphano and quickly. If he is in danger or worse, I would have you I would have you and none other by his side. Yeah, we'll we'll help the we'll help him. I still think it's a little smarmy though. Thank you. Pray not concern yourself with the matter we were discussing earlier. Ida and Papalimo will see to it. Alphano is being treated at the hourglass. Hurry, Elise. Oh. Hope he's not that badly injured. I don't wish any, any bad stuff for anyone, to be honest, but... Uh... I just worry. Yeah, he is a little smarmy son of a gun, but I don't think that he deserves that. Um, by the hourglass, right? Where is that? Uh, hourglass, hourglass. Oh, quicksand. Okay. Uh, Adventurer's Guild. That's it. Alpha, no, we come to save you. Patch up your boo boos and your owies. Oh, wait, those are white mages. But still, I'm a scholar. I can patch up the boo boos and the owies. Well, you're standing. That's a good sign. Don't look like you're totally, like, incapacitated. Must have gathered by now that oh. Taru is given to exaggeration. As you can see, I am quite well. Uh, yeah, I can see that. So, what the hell happened? Ulda, on the other hand, is not. This riot was anything but an isolated incident. Oh? There is a restlessness in the air. Tensions long simmering are at last threatening to boil over. Oh. The refugees, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Infamous for the great disparity between the wealthy and the poor. Mm -hmm. The majority of the populace accepts this state of affairs because they believe that every man bears responsibility for his own lot in life. Mm. To an Uldan, money is the former. <laughs> And some would say the only measure of a man's worth. Small wonder that the wealthiest wield the greatest influence. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. So where do the refugees fit into this social hierarchy? What place is there for those who fled Alamigo and the destruction of the Calamity? They're put at the bottom, right? Plainly, there is none. They have no wealth, no power, and no worth. To the Uldan way of thinking, they may as well not exist. Yeah. Choosing to ignore their existence, however, is patently not an option. General Rauban and the Sultana understand this, which is why they ordered the Immortal Flames to provide the refugees aid and succor. Yet, none would dispute that the expenses incurred by this policy grow by the day, with no end in sight. Which the monetarists are probably getting pretty perturbed, right? This has prompted more and more Uldans to question their obligation to aid these worthless wanderers. While more and more refugees have come to resent their treatment at the hands of the sneering citizenry. So yeah, you definitely have a situation where things are boiling over because you have people who feel that the Uldans, um, not the Uldans, but the Alamegans really have no worth because they don't really have any money. But 
they want to work, but they're just being really smarmy. And then when you have all the people trying to help them out, there goes all the money and then they're saying, well, what benefit am I getting out of it? Uh, frustrating situation indeed. The manner of Lord Lolorito's refusal to grant the Dolmens asylum bespoke a disdain for all refugees, an attitude shared by the rest of the monetarists. And you may be sure they make no effort to conceal their opinions. Why am I not surprised? It was only a matter of time before the refugees united in protest. Nor is it any surprise that some among them would ultimately resort to violence. <sighs> that the immortal flames should choose this of all occasions to engage in joint training exercises with the other grand companies. By the time they return, the situation may well have deteriorated beyond mending. Uh, that is really not good. I just worry that uh, it's going to be a situation where it's just going to completely blow, uh, blow over. Lots of dead bodies everywhere and uh, well, what have we got? Daystar earrings and even earrings. Daystar is probably the one I want because it's mine. So put that there. And put those on, I guess. And even 10. Ooh. Desperate times. Well, desperate times often cost for de desperate measures, right? As I told you before, it was all but inevitable that an incident of this kind would eventually occur given the rising tensions within the Sultanate. Nevertheless, I have reason to believe this particular riot may not have begun spontaneously. So somebody did have a hand in this. Have I piqued your curiosity? Good. Then you will accompany me to the Hall of Flames. I would hear what General Raban has to say upon this matter. Again, I still think that Lolorito has some sort of hand in this somehow. Because he was talking about revolution, all this going on. I just wonder if like he's feeding them weapons or something, but how the hell would you prove that? I don't know if you really can. Uh, let's see. Hall of Flames. Oh, it's here. <laughs> Da, da, da. There you are. Now is not a good time, Private Astray. My hands are full dealing with refugees. Precisely the matter we wish to discuss, General. Alpha, no. Back on your feet already. You may credit my swift recovery to your... Ch Chirugans? My memories of the riot are still somewhat muddled. I trust you managed to re regain control of the situation. Not entirely. We secured the city soon enough, but not before the unrest had spread to the surrounding territories. Pockets of resistance remain throughout Thanalan. We have sent what forces we can spare to root out the last of the belligerents, but progress is slow. They are damnably elusive. Hmm. I can well imagine. Given the majority of refugees live outside the walls, it stands to reason they would know the lay of the land. What I do not understand is how they came to be so well prepared. Before my little accident, I observed that several of the refugees were armed, and not with butcher's knives or pitchforks, but with martial weaponry. I hardly need to add that such equipment is costly. None can deny that tensions between Old Asenri and the refugee population have since increased since the domains were turned away. But would that motivate a starving man to purchase arms in lieu of food? I think not. And what of those who have not even a single guilt to spend? Who could not survive without the aid provided by the immortal flames? Surely they would have sooner sell a weapon than bring to bear against their benefactors. 
come to the point. Very well. My point, General, is that this powder keg of discontent was not set alight by chance. These events were deliberately set in motion and... And now order must be restored. That is my first duty. Until it is done, any investigation can wait. I do not have the time to discuss this. My scouts will be returning anon. Alphano, now is not. I do realize that you want to show your mental prowess and that you're awesome and all that, but he's trying to quell, like trying to get things back to sort of semblance of normal and. Investigating this is going to be rather hard. You probably have to wait until after the dust is settled. The general is no fool. He keeps his own counsel, and with go good cause. Were he to claim, without the necessary proof, that the riots were instigated by an outside forces, the monetarist would accuse him of attempting to shirk responsibility. After all, he and the Sultana have been the most outspoken proponents of refugee aid. Regardless, they will face harsh criticism in the days ahead. Our allies may stumble upon the truth in time, but I have more faith in your abilities, Elise. Therefore, I propose we conduct our own investigation, independent of the authorities. Good plan. To that end, I would have you make inquiries in the settlements suspected of harboring belligerents. Commander Swift will know which, uh, which they are. He may balk at a request for such information, but I doubt that you can persuade him with your silver tongue. Wait, it seems like in this game I seem to be mostly mute, so I don't know how the heck I have this silver tongue. But anyway. I, meanwhile, shall seek answers in my own way, after which we can regroup and share our findings. Well then, shall we? Me, my silver tongue that really hasn't spoken much of a word. I will speak to command to uh, Commander Smith. <laughs> you look as though you have something to say, Private Stray. Do you? What you ask is no simple favor. Were we were such information to fall in the wrong hands, the lives of countless soldiers would be at risk. Even though there is wisdom in your words, an able individual, even one with ties to the flames, may be better suited to this task than a regiment. Very well. The Brass Blades have reported suspicious activity in the vicinity of Lost Hope. It may be unrelated to recent events, but we doubt it. I suggest you begin by speaking to the Blades posted there. Oh, there! Okay. Oh, and... Alright. We humbly request you vanquish him. Okay. Oh, that was for my free one that I accepted, but I didn't go forward with. Problem found is domain, bowl of embers, got there, you need to use a beast mini three found within the depths of Zaharak, the ML just strong cold. ML just constructed their own aether, and from salvage aetherite shards, that being the case, you should be able to use it without problem. No doubt you already know from fellow science, but present the present incarnation of a is far stronger than last. Facing him with fewer than seven of your stoutest comrades will be ill advised. That is all the intelligence we have to share. The rest is in your hands. I shall pray for your victory and safe return. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lost Hope because uh, we may have some people there who can let us know a little bit more about the insurgents. Hopefully they can give us a lot of information too, um, but we will see. Um, uh, where am I going? Oh, Last Hope. The Last Hope, Last Hope. And I'm also lost because, well, I can't really... I can't sometimes find my way across things. Lilfric? Lil Lil A friend of the Sultanate, are we? I take this means that someone has read my report. The refugees who left with the merchant have yet to return. And I am increasingly concerned that Zaza Waka's suspicions were correct. You haven't the foggiest as to what I'm talking about, do you? Never mind. Speak with Zaza Waka. He will explain everything. But I better speak to this guy first before I speak to Zaza Waka. 
And what brings you here, adventure? A search for refugees? Well, then you've come to the right place. Ah, you mean those refugees? Oh no, you won't find them here. Most of the people of Lost Hope have come to accept their situation and are content to pass their days in peace and quiet. Outsiders have trouble understanding that, like the merchant who passed through recently. Gregarious fellow, but awfully opinionated. Can't say I was sad to see him go. Hmm. So this way to Zazawaka. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a funny name. Zazawaka, Zazawaka. Uh, in here. Oh. Oh, this is a little cave of sorts. Oh, and tents and everything. Um, oh, there he is. Ah, uh, don't hurt me. I'm not one of them. I beg your pardon? You're of the flames. Are you not with the flames? I see. If Leo Frick bid you speak with me, then I take you've already agreed to help. Twelve, be praised for that because we have no moment to waste. Everyone knows that the flames are on the march. The others have fallen under the fin that uh, fanatic spell, but not I. Promises of revolution and retribution, of holding the ruling class to account and taking... Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Giovanna. A child, fa childish fancy. I did everything I could to sway the others from leaving, but few would heed my words. Now that one of our idealists have returned, however, the madness of the merchant's plan is plain for all to see. Look behind yonder tent and you'll understand why. So how are you doing today? We are going through, um, we're going through, uh, 2.3? Yeah, 2.3 today. Hoping to get all of it done, but we'll see how far I get. <laughs> Even now, he babbles inco incoherently, so traumatized is he by the bloodshed he witnessed. Try as I might, I can make little sense of his words beyond the fact that he was not alone in surviving. Yet, I've no doubt that the merchant will lead the remainder to their doom. I beg of you, find them before he does. Oh. Oh, uh, terrified refugee. Oh, you look really terrified, sir. What? What are you doing? Don't, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw. Why did you run away with me? We could have escaped together. Then you'd be here with me. Be here to soothe me. Why? Why did you have to stand and leave? Stay and leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Good sir. Uh, where's Sooth? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's okay. Wh who are you? What do you want? I, it's true. I followed the merchant and may the gods strike me down for my folly. What they will not give, you must take, he said. When we asked how, he revealed the cache of weapons he had brought and implored us to seize control of our fates. I thought about running then and there, but the others were so excited, he split us into two groups and sent us off on our own. But but when the flames found us, we didn't know what to do. Our leader tried to parlay with theirs, but then they started arguing and then fighting and then everyone's fighting and the flames were shouting to give no quarter and... Oh God, it's the other group. They're still out there. If we don't stop them, they'll get massacred as mine was. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Shock and awe. The other refugees are hiding in caves, lo caves south of Lost Hope, but to approach them would be fruitless. They'd sooner call us agents of the Sultanate and try to kill us rather than listen to reason. Why, the twins might even deign to do the deed themselves. <clears throat> a pox and all bloody sellswords. They were supposed to train us to fight, but the ones he sent us vanished during the struggle. Oh, if we had only never listened to that merchant's ridiculous claims. He said our cause was righteous, that the gods would never suffer us, suffer us to be defeated. Though, if they showed, if they are forced to confront reality, that's it. Challenge the twins to combat and show my brethren that their strongest warriors are no match for one woman. Mayhap then they will agree to lay down their arms and re renounce this plot. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Can a lowly scholar like me help? I don't know. I can try. 
Worst they can tell me is no. I need to brighten up my screen a little bit. Um, worst they can tell me is no, I can't, I can't do it. And they'll try to beat me with swords, but I'll use my book. Uh, let's see. Um, they said in caves, right? So caves and by, oh, did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Uh, caves, 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 caves. Oh, go through here. This is a cave. This is definitely a cave. Lots of Fs. Oh, there they are. Okay, desperate refugee. And bring out my chocobo. Just gonna help. There we are. Seven Hells, they found us. Everyone, grab your gear and make for the rendezvous point. So that's your game, is it? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you last, but we're, we're willing to kill you ourselves. Huh? Oh, jeez. I don't want to kill you. We're supposed to be we're supposed to be helping each other, not killing. Come on. Oh. I was stunned there. We can take her. No, you can't. I am going to stop you and hopefully knock some sense into you. Okay, now you guys understand? More? Oh good gracious. Get it into your thick skulls. We are to be working together. And not like this. I don't know if this is going to actually help or... If, well, if it stops them from doing stupid things. More? Oh, jeez. How many more do we have here? Oh, a challenge. Yeah. And you need a... Bio 2 as well. And now we can just do Art of War because it's one of the quickest ways I can think of to take it all take them all down. Oops. And take you down too. Oh you got Okay, now that's down. There we go. And a few more ruins should ruin their day. Ha ha ha. I made it funny. Not really. Um, is that it? Okay. Guys, stop doing stupid stuff. This is dumb. You beat him like it was nothing. Thal almighty. What are we going to do now? <clears throat> Hopefully have some sense knocked into you. And stop this stupid idea that you have and I wonder, I wonder if I'll find the people that convince them to try to take up arms in the first place. Can I like tell them, you know, don't do that. It's a bad idea. Hopefully. But I doubt they'll listen. I wonder if they're working for the monetarists though. I think they probably are. Huh. Well, we stopped them. You returned? Did you find my brethren? What the twins? What happened? I see. Well, you had no choice. Better than a handful of them taking a beating from you than getting, getting the lot butchered by the flames. Yeah, I guess? Tell me, what did the merchant have to say when it was over? Huh? But where else would he be, unless... Unless he wants to storm sword and recruit others? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just feel this one person is just making things worse and worse and worse. Um, 90. Okay, I'm going to replace this one. There we go. So, where are we going to? Stone throw? The merchant who wished to approach the refugees and stone throw, but they're waiting until the flames withdrew their forces from the vicinity. Now that they have, there's nothing to stop them from continuing his work. 
How many more must perish in, the fu in this futile cause? How much more suffering may we, must we endure before it ends? Find him. Convince him to cease his, cease his mad quest. It will surely lead us to ruin. Hasn't it already led you to ruin? Because, oh my gosh, the number of people that are going to be dying because of this stupid idea. Ugh. And it's not going to be helping their cause as well because if they do all this, they're going to be thought of even worse. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I had to stop for a minute. Oh, that looks so pretty. So pretty at night. Very, very pretty. Still wish I could figure out the... Um, all the different things so I can look at the stars and know as to which constellations are out there and everything else. That'd be cool. Oh! Oh no! Little kid! No! Where's your parents, kiddo? Where's your parents? Have Have you seen my parents? Mm. No, kid, I haven't. They, they told me to stay here with the others. They said they'd be back soon, but it's been days. They left us. They left with the man from Ulda. The man said they were going to change everything, make it so we could live inside the walls with everyone else. I liked it when he said that. I didn't like it when he talked about making the rich people pay. Everyone looked so angry and I got so scared. Say, miss, are you looking for someone? Um... Well, technically I am looking for a merchant, but they're also looking for- they're also stirring up trouble. Since I was told that he is a merchant, I'm going to go with I'm looking for a merchant. I'm actually looking for a merchant. Have you seen him? You mean the man who left my parents? But I don't know where he... Huh? Wait, look over there. I think that's him. Oh, really? Well now, which of these gullible fools shall be my next victim? Um, hi. I want to kick your ass. <laughs> you! I, I... Run for the hills and let me catch him. He, he's getting away! Go get him, miss! Yep. Better believe it, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh. I will once my game starts responding to me, and there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, I can fly. That's right. That making it even quicker. You're over here. Papa Sean! Go get him! Evil person here! Come on! Papa Sean! You can do it, Papa Sean! Come on! We'll do it together. Where are you? Um, oh, there you are. There we are. There we are. Right under everybody's noses, too. Holy crap. You again? Why are you pursuing me? <sighs> well, you were rather suspicious. Sedition? Treason? Revolution? <laughs> That's preposterous. Who has filled your head with these lies? Refugees? The same refugees who terrorized the street of, of Ulda? Ha! You have no evidence to prove your accusations. None. Uh, actually, I have a lot of proof. Let's go, let's go to the Hall of Flames, right? No, I will not accompany you to the Hall of Flames. You have no right to detain me. 
Come on, let's go. For, for the sake of argument, let's just say I did do the things you claim. Surely you don't think I'd give a Kieran's arse about politics? It was business. Only business. Uh-huh. You're looking to see if you've been followed or anything? <clears throat> okay, it's the spill it. Come on. Let it out. Let it out. Oh. I don't think we're getting much information of him. I think he's going to die. <laughs> we both know I'm not the one you want. However, if you agree to protect me, then I swear I shall tell you everything. Okay, go ahead. Oh, shh. <laughs> yeah, I sort of figured. Not going to get anything out of him. Damn it. What's all this commotion? A dead body. Seven hells. Tell the others to spread out and search the area. The killer may still be close. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody doesn't want his uh, secrets to be spilled. Hold adventure. I would know more about your relationship to the victim, as well as the events leading up to his death. This man responsible for the recent riots? Mayhap we owe his murderer a debt of gratitude. In any case, it is obvious that you are not the one whom we speak. Uh, seek. Blah, blah, blah. You may carry on with your investigation, Sion. Well, thank you, good sir. And I have to go back to the Hall of Flames. Because... My investigation is almost done. <clears throat> At least I think. But I didn't get really anywhere much closer to where I was. Yeah, there was the suspicious merchant, but he wasn't the one that was the be-all and end-all of anything. Somebody else is pulling the strings. But my question then is who? I think it's like the monitorists, but I still don't know what they would gain out of all this? What news, Private Astray? Where is the merchant? He's dead, sir. He got killed by an arrow by somebody else. Murdered? Damn it all to the seventh hell. He was not simply murdered, Private. He was silenced. Too many knew his face, and he was, uh, he was ready to divulge his secrets. Do not despair, though. We may be closer to identifying the true orchestrator of these riots than you realize. Oh? Tell me more, good sir. Tell me more. I am curious. What do you know? Revolution. Nanamo! Oh, don't tell me Nanamo's involved in all this. Not, not, not sweet Nanamo. She's too cute. The Flame General left word that you are to proceed to the Fragrant Chamber as soon as you returned. He wishes to discuss your recent discoveries as well as the results of our own investigation. Master Alphano has already been informed and should be waiting for you outside. Pray proceed to the Royal Promenade with all haste and speak with Bartholomew. Okay, let's go find Bartholomew. And to the Chamber of Rule. Chamber, Chamber of Rule. There we go. Um, I think either way I go, it's about the same distance, so it doesn't really matter. Oh gosh, yeah, because it's equal distance I think from where the eighth right is to where I need to be. Where uh, I need to be. There's Alpha No. And there's both Tholomew. Wonder, Alphano, how are you feeling? You feeling okay? Excellent work, Elise. The information you brought us helped me persuade General Rabban to call this meeting. Mayhap now we can discuss matters openly and honestly. Well, personally, I think that Rabban would be speaking openly and honestly to us anyway. He's got our backs. We have been expecting you, madam. Please proceed inside. Okay. Ooh, I want that necklace. 
Now, is it voiced? We will see. Commander Swift has oh, it is. surprised of your recent activities. You've made great strides towards quelling the violence. Well, we made some progress, not total, but we made some. Despite our best efforts to determine what provoked this uprising, the truth continues to elude us. Have you uncovered aught which might shed some light on the mystery? Mm hmm. Oh, he's looking for the okay from the Sultan to speak about it, I guess. This information does not leave this room. Okay, yeah, it's definitely something secretive. The Syndicate's decision to reject the Doman refugees' appeal for asylum had lasting repercussions. Mm hmm. A number of those displaced by the calamity claimed it was proof of a policy of discrimination. Yeah, that's sort of what we expect too, because same sort of thing happened when we met with the um, Alamegans at the Seventh Heaven, because they're saying, well, you help the Domans, why can't you help us? So same sort of idea of discrimination. They didn't necessarily say discrimination outright, but the impression was there. Together with a group of Alamegan refugees, they organized a series of demonstrations to protest against Sultanate. Mm -hmm. Demonstrations which became heated, but did not descend into violence. Okay, what turned the tide then? What caused it to turn violent? Until a certain incident served as a call to arms. Oh? Tell me more. A unit of brass blades sent to supervise a demonstration loosed arrows upon unarmed protesters. Oh dear gosh. That would do it. Oh my. Have you ever spoken to the soldiers who did it? That is just setting the spark to. Oh. It was this atrocity which prompted the refugees to take up arms. Mm -hmm. I need not tell you what followed. Yeah. We assumed at first that the attack was born of a miscommunication. That's usually what That's happens, right? Happen. Yeah. But suspicions were raised regarding the unit's commanding officer, whom I ordered interrogated. Oh. Sure enough, our fears were soon confirmed. The dog confessed that a merchant had offered him coin to give the order. A merchant in the employ of Taleji Adeleji. What? So, Taleji was behind it, and that's the reason why he's saying revolution. To cause this, but... I'm still very confused as to why he's instigating all this. What could he gain out of it? Taleji Adeleji. But he spoke in favor of the Doman's cause, and has ever seemed sympathetic towards the refugees' plight. Why would he do such a thing? Yeah, what, what's the gain from all this? It doesn't make sense to me. At least not yet. Know you of the Cartano Reclamation Bill? Mm, no. What is it? It is a proposal to annex the Cartano Flats so that refugees may establish permanent settlements. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. At least, I think it does? When last I looked, that was disputed territory. Oh, it doesn't belong to Ulda, it belongs to all the nations, or is it belong to somebody else? Oh. Some might even call it a battlefield. Oh, yeah, you can't really have people settle there. It's not safe. The destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much okay. is common knowledge. Right. What is less well known is that his rampage laid bare ancient Alagon ruins. Of which no record existed. Oh. Has there been any excavation teams involved in all this? There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. Hmm. Yeah, dealing with that would probably be very tricky. Huh. 
So... We differ though we may. We are still allies. Therefore, in the interest of preserving the Aeorzean Alliance, we have reached an agreement. So that nobody would be really settling on those lands, right? Any conflict which may arise during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. Hold on a second. Isn't that the area that's used for PvP as well? So, are we bringing <laughs> PvP into We're trying to situate PvP into canon somehow? Okay, that's neat, but it's just, wow. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs, Telegi Adelegi proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. A shameless bloody ruse <laughs> stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. He would get access to the ruins, right? If successful. He will gain control over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement. Oh of gosh! I'm sure, he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. Yeah. Oh man, now I'm starting to understand. Oh crap! So he's getting everybody to. Lives for personal gain. So if he gets everybody to like to raise arms and everything else, that'll give him the idea of see, well, I propose this solution that would take care of all this, and the refugees can go land here, let's pass the spill, and then he has control over it. I guess. Hmm. walks a path all his own, independent of any faction, and beholden to none of his fellows on the Syndicate. Hmm. By inciting the less fortunate to violence, he hopes yeah. to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. His sympathy for the plight of the Domins was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. Oh, what a conniving little bugger. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Telegi Adelegi to go to such lengths? What is well, so special about these ruins that he would risk his position on the Syndicate? And gotta be something likely, big. Charges of treason against the Sultanate. A lot of good stuff is in those ruins that he hopes to give... He he plans to make profit for. Huh? Oh my God. Wait, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Omega. Pardon. An oligon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon, mayhap larger. We know not. It has yet to be fully excavated. Oh, gosh. So he would have control over a, wep over a weapon? Or a tool or something like that. Oh, cripes. No, that definitely can't happen. Alagon inscriptions indicate that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. So, yeah, even more powerful than Bahamut. Okay. If accurate might explain why Nail Van Darnus chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the Cartano Flats. Mm. Given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation, destroying the one weapon which could stay the Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. When first I bore witness to the power of the Ultima weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon? One which could contend with Bahamut. Bahamut. Aye, big, big daggy. We were skeptical ourselves. Truth be told, until the Ultima weapon's existence came to light, we thought the inscription had been mistranslated. Hmm. At present. 
present Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since ceased to function. As such, its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. Hmm. However, if someone were to restore it, as the Carlians did the Ultima weapon, I have little doubt that he would win. But in order to restore it, you need to have somebody who has that sort of knowledge or technical know-how, and the only folks that really do that sort of thing, isn't that like part of Sid's group? And I can't really see them getting involved in all that. No, they're not beholden to any nation, but they do have some sort of sense of, you know, knowing what's right and what's wrong. What's wrong. So I can't really see them have, like, them helping out restoring the bloody thing. Power enough to subjugate Uldar like as not, and the rest of Eorzea besides, which is doubtless mm -hmm. why Teleji Adeleji yearns to have it. Well, we gotta stop Teleji, that's for sure. That he should aspire to world domination. He who has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Hmm. It is in acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this power. Woe betide us all should we allow him to have it. But how can you stop him, though? Huh? Somebody is listening. Pray waste no time chasing rats. Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Ulda. Hmm. It would seem the implications of the Sultanate's refugee problem are rather more far-reaching than we assumed. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I just don't know what all can be done. Like, you don't really have any proof to arrest Teleji at Alleji, at least at this point. So, what can be done? Stories we tell. I should be glad to know the truth, and yet, the thought of all this chaos was a product of one man's lust for power sickens me. Oh, believe me, I'm not feeling too thrilled about it either. How long do you think they intended to hide the existence of Omega from the Scions? That they even felt the need to do so is most troubling. Hmm. It would be in our best interest to learn more of the military activities in the disputed territories. You are, of course, the scion best suited for this task, Private Astray. Do take a moment to visit the Hall of Flames and make inquiries at the earliest available opportunity. Be gone, whelp. This is there this is no place for children. Huh? Oh, it's the kid from earlier, I think. The one that we um yeah, L. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's... they were still looking for their parents, so... Why you have to be so freaking rude? I, I was looking for you, miss. You said you were looking for the man who left with my parents. Uh, you know this girl? Yeah, we ran into her because she was... She's the one who spotted the merchant that was doing all the bad stuff. So he visited Stone Throne as, Stone's Throw as well, I see. Hmm. Did you find the man? Were my parents with him? Uh, they were not, I, I'm afraid. However, I can think of several places they might be. If you like, we can go and look for them together. Really? You'll help me look, mister? Absolutely. Uh, of course, but first, I must need to finish speaking with my friend. She's telling me a secret, you see, so no one else is allowed to listen. Mayhap you could wait for me over by that pillar over there. We require, but just a moment. <laughs> okay, mister. I'll be waiting. I'll take her to the quicksand. Mayhap Mamodi will know what to do. Hmm. A legion of Garleans, an aether star primal, and even dealing with an Asian would be profess preferable to the charade. Sometimes I fear Mimphilia is too ambitious. We rather hither and yawn in response to, the response to threats as, as they arrive without concern for the strain it places on our limited resources and ourselves. Mayhap the time has come for a change. Oh? What change are you thinking? Oh, Minvilia, of course. 
Elise, this is Minfilia. I know this is sudden, but I must ask you to return to Revenant's Toll with all due haste. The situation in Twelve's Wood has taken a turn for the worse, and uh, I'll explain in detail once you arrive. Oh, more primal fun? Yay! <clears throat> more primals. It's Walswood. Then the primal threat she spoke of before has been confirmed. I have received no reports of Ixal activity, which leaves uh, the Sylphs? Go, Elise. You know as well as I, the appearance of primal takes precedence over all else. Oh, and when you do arrive, do inform the antecedent. Well, I am grateful for her concern. She needn't fear for my safety. I am more than capable of protecting myself. Um. Okay. I don't think you are, but sure, you do you. What do we got now? Uh, oh yes, Rising Stones. So... Rising Stones is more donut, More donuts! More donuts indeed! Let's see what we can do. Um... Rising stones. That goes in here. And go in. Sorry, uh, sorry, my little chocolate wobble. I have to leave you outside. And everybody's still hanging out, doing their own thing. I should really talk to people in between. Maybe see what else is out there. Serpent Herald. Oh. I come on behalf of the Elder Seeds here and petition the aid of your order. The antecedent has been apprised of the situation. Okay. It is relief to see you hail healthy and hail, Elise. The latest news from Ulda was most disturbing. Yeah, it's not that much greater now. Rizzling a lot of crap. Clearly, the only injury Ilfano suffered was to his ego. <laughs> Doubtless, it will heal ere long. The other scions will need to be present for this meeting. If you are ready to begin, I will summon them now. Okay. Um, nothing there, so I'll take the money. And... Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, Daystar necklace. There we go. And, okay, I don't have anything else there yet. Okay. Oh. Uh, bracelets. Ooh, okay. Lord of Leaven. Okay, so yeah, we are going to be dealing with Rema. Fun times. Thank you for responding to my call with such haste. Rest assured, I should not. I should not have summoned you if it were not urgent. To business, then. I have received the most disturbing news from the Order of the Twin Adder. They have reason to believe the Sylph may have called forth their revered guardian, the Primal Remu. I'm sorry. May have? Then it is not certain. The Elder Seeds here informs us the Elementals themselves murmur of the Lord of Leaven's return to the forest. The Simflins, however, display no signs of undue commotion. Hmm. Forgive me, Antecedent, but that fact need not contradict the Elemental's testimony. Unlike his more bellicose compeers, Gruda and so on, uh, Ramu is reputed to act only in the defense of his children. I imagine he would soon make his presence known if any were foolish enough to directly endanger the sylphs or their territory. The abruptness of this uh, development concerns me. Were we not keeping a close eyes on the touched ones and their movements? If preparations for a summoning ritual were indeed underway, it would surely have not escaped your notice. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was going to happen, just not this soon. I beg your pardon. You foresaw this eventuality and did not prevent it. I, I told Papalimo. I suppose I could have reported things to Minfilia earlier, but uh, there was honestly not much we could do except wait and see. 
You know how the cells feel about people poking around in their territory. They already summoned Ramu right after, once right after the calamity, but it was because Gar Garleans came trampling through the forest. And so long as Castrum Orion stands, the Sylphs cannot be blamed for wishing to have their guardian deity on hand. In short, Ida and I are in agreement. The actions of the forest folk were inevitable and unavoidable. And I maintain that the observation would have remained the best policy had it not been for the sudden influx of strangers into Black Shroud. That is, that alas, we did not foresee. By all accounts, the recent violence in Olda drove a number of refugees to seek safety under the concealing canopy of the trees. Oh. Tis like the Sils perceived this panic migration as yet another invasion and quickened their efforts to summon their god. Oh. That could do it too. I am put in mind of Titan and the Kobolds once again. It is the fairest of men which paved way for the primal's coming. Mm-hmm. Indeed, one cannot but wonder what manner of place areas it would be without the civilizing influence of mankind. Be that as it may, this regrettable development does afford us unique opportunity. Elise, through your dealings with the Sylphs a little solace, you once succeeded in preventing an untimely conflict with Gordania. I wonder, might one be who has treated with itself so fruitfully in the past not achieve similar success with their patron deity? If Ramu can be convinced of our intentions, it may be the first step to breaking the cycle of primal summoning. A fond hope. Were such a thing possible, we had not been at war with the beastmen since time immemorial. Uh, but maybe this time we can... Let us continue this discussion anon. We must first consult with the nation most affected by Ramu's presence. The Elder Seatseer has requested your personal involvement, Elise. Pray report to the Commander Helwa at the Adder's Nest as soon as you're able. Okie dokie. Steal yourself for the worst. While I hope for a peaceful resolution to this matter, experience suggests that your meeting with Lord of Levin will prove less than amicable. In such, in such an event, your fellow scions will, of course, lend you whatever support you require. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Gridenia. Gridenia, Gridenia, Gridenia. Speak to uh, Mr. Halawa, and then probably going somewhere else, but we'll see this way. Won't take us that long to run over there. And there we are. Elise of the Science, your arrival has been most appreciated. The appearance of a primal is ever the ca ever cause for alarm and unease. Though my men stand readily for any eventuality, I know none more qualified than you to snuff out this threat. Indeed, I would have you do so without delay. The Elder Seeds here, however, would speak with you first. She is the opinion that your diplomatic, rather than martial, skills may be better, better serve our cause. I will leave further explanation to our learned leader. Pray make your way to Nofka's altar. The conjurer in attendance will admit you to the lotus stand. Oh, the silent uh, conjurer who is nothing but silent, who is very vocal to let you in. I will speak to the Silent Conjurer. Alrighty, and let's see. Uh, Conjurer's Guild. And the Silent Conjurer who is not silent. As I have just proved. The other silents have already arrived, madam. May I show you in? Yes, let's go in. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. Who do we have here? Thancred, Ida, Papalimo, Ishola, 
Suffolk Servant, and Kane Senna. Wow. It's it's a party. Scions of the Seventh Ooh. Dawn. On behalf of the people of Gridania, I bid you welcome. Your presence is of great comfort to us all in these days of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. I summoned you here to share tidings of a most urgent nature. But a short while ago, the great elemental spoke, and his voice was clarion in its intensity. Ramu is returned unto the forest. Well, at least Ramu is not really as destructive as, let's say, a free Chikoruda. He just wants what's best for- he just wants to protect his, uh, children, right? So... If we stay away from them, we should be okay. ...to echo in mine ears when we were visited by an emissary from Little Solace. Oh, hello. Our guest informs us that the Sylphs, too, have sensed the presence of the Lord of Levin. Though his exact whereabouts remain unknown, we may safely assume that the primal was summoned within the heart of the Sylphlands. Well, that would make sense because normally if they're, if they are, um, summoning their god, they usually stay in their territory. They don't really roam, or do they? Unlike the other primals you have encountered, Lord Ramu is no raging avatar of destruction. Mm -hmm. He is revered as much for his wisdom as his strength, serving as both arbiter and guardian to his children. Given that we and the Sylphs found a way to share the Twelve's Wood, it is my hope that this sagely immortal will be amenable to reason, and that conflict may be avoided. Blessed One can always hope. Power of the Echo, you are one of the few among us who may commune with a primal without fear of influence. I would ask, therefore, that you represent us in this most delicate of negotiations. Yeah, I can definitely go uh, into negotiations, but that means that Ida Papalimo, Ida, uh, sorry, Ida Papalimo, Yastola, and Thancred have to stay behind. Because they don't have the echo, I don't think. And they could be tempered. <laughs> and I don't want my friends tempered. <laughs> the Twelve's Wood has suffered enough. Upon this, we and the Sylphs, and I would venture Lord Ramu himself, are in perfect accord. Let us not endanger our shared home by engaging in unnecessary hostilities. Dear friend, I beseech you, safeguard the peace which exists between our peoples. Yep, I'll do my best to help. Oh, the cabbage is happy. Thanks. She's dancing. Pray make for little solace, then. A member of the Order of the Twin Adder awaits you there. He will advise you on how to find the Lord of Levin. Okay. That sounds easy enough. The wind blows through the forest. Yet, hmm. it is not only the Twelve's Wood that flinches at its coming. All the lands of Eorzea shiver in dread anticipation. Have care. Oh, well, be careful. We always do. Oh, and then I get immediately kicked out. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I get immediately kicked out. That wasn't very nice, you know. Um, Hawthorne Hut, I think that's the one. Oh goodness gracious. Uh let's see. There we go. And little Solace is right over here. Oh, Kamuxio and uh, everybody else. Oh, the Serpent Lieutenant. There we go. Speak to him. Elise of the Science, I was told to expect you. I understand you go to treat with the Primal Remove himself. 
inevitable task, but one for which I have no doubt you are well suited. I've been told that your fellow science are conducting an investigation of the area as we speak. Why? So that we may ascertain the location where Lord Eleven might be found. But they can be tempered. I don't want my friends tempered. I'll do the freaking investigation by myself if need be. I don't want to lose people. I would ask that you abide here until they return with their findings. No, I want to go find my friends. I want to go find my friends. Oh gosh, I want to find my friends. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, oh, I have to speak to him again. Eleven, an impression. <laughs> Oh, thank you, localization group, for all the funny stuff. Thank you, thank you. That is awesome. I was told that a messenger would be sent as soon as your fellow science finished their investigation. I do not imagine it will be much longer. Oh, hello, friend. This one returns and returns with good tidings. Wise ones have finished searching and they have wisely identified the precise location where the touched ones summoned Lord Remu. Your timing is impeccable, my fluttery friend. May you be so kind as to escort this good woman to her fellow scions. It would be this one's pleasure, walking one. Please, please come with this one. Oh, sure. Where are we going? Oh, um... Up that way, uh, where the touch ones are. Uh, how far up do I need to go? Oh gosh! Okay, um, since I can fly, I'm going to do this rather than walking. Because I'm sure if I walk, I'm probably going to be, um, getting all sorts of- What in the world? This... It says it's clear, but it doesn't look that clear. Looks very creepy. Uh, oh, here you are. Axio. Wise ones have ventured deep, deep within the Sylphlands. These ones must proceed carefully and keep an eye out for touched ones. Okay, now where are we going? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this place has a definite purple tinge to it. Sort of like purple mood lighting sometimes you see on flights. Uh, how far up do we need to go? Oh, this is pretty! Oh, this is so pretty! I know I have to go down and everything, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty! Uh, where do I need to go? Um, over here? Oh! There. This one is most sorry, but this one can go no further. Draw too close to Lord Le Lord Remu, and one this one may turn mean and nasty like touched ones. And so this one must say farewell for now. Walking one will find wise ones not too far from here, to the south. Go in safety, walking one. Oh, thank you for guiding us this far. Uh, let's see. Can I? Yeah. Um. Mm, where do I go? Oh, they're there. And in the middle of a fate. Okay. Don't ask. Suffice it to say, we had something of a situation here. Huh? What do you mean? So, Thancred is Thancred, Papalimo is Papalimo, you stole it as you stole it, and you are you, right? Well, that's easy enough to remember. This one's name is Ida, in case you're wa in case walking one was wondering. Joke! I'm joking! Okay, what the hell happened? <laughs> ah, there you are. It is you, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be me? 
Did something happen? So, it's actually you. I'm relieved. For a moment, I thought we were dealing with another one of those confounded self tricksters. Oh, gosh. So, souls were pretending to be the different sounds? I swear. One of them was wreaking havoc with their skin-changing magics. It is a wonder I was able to finish taking my measurements. Any measurements? Uh, yes, it was quite the ordeal. You should have seen the look on Yistrola's face when one impersonating you suddenly showed up. That's quite enough, Papa Limo. Okay. <laughs> my apologies. It's not like me to ramble so. At any rate, I was, as I was saying... I have finished measuring etheric activity in the area, and I am pleased to say that I've reached an, an indisputable conclusion. To wit, that Ramu was called forth in the vicinity of the Sylph's Aetherite. Come, Elise, the Lord Eleven awaits. Well, don't they hang around their um, Aetherite anyway? Because I know that's what they're telling me for um, Ifrit, that he's around their Aetherite. So that would lead me to believe that everybody else would be too. Mm. Uh, here? Uh, let's see. Um. Oh, I gotta probably defeat that one first. Uh. Okay. Oh! Is just walk up to it. Okay, that's simple. Oh! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare. I just want to talk to Lord Raimu. Can I please? Thy Nora betrays thee, son of hiding. Um... Lord Raimu, if I'm not mistaken. Raimu? Raimu? I Rima. Ah, uh, whatever. Different pronunciations, I guess. Hello. Your beard, sir, it is epic. Thou art the bringer of light, bane of Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, and Leviathan. Yes, I am. And how do you get your beard so luscious? What care products do you use? Trimming it and keeping up keeping it must be an absolute bear. I am Ramu, guardian of the children of the forest. Yes, sir. Thou tramplest upon sacred soil, bringer of light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the sylphs? Well, we heard that you were summoned. We're worried about you causing havoc. Can we parlay with you? May we have a chat and maybe come to everybody at the same conclusion? Mm-hmm. Their words are born of delusion, thine offer, and insult. Well, I didn't mean to insult you, good sir, but we want to try to have peace for everyone. Thou speakest of harm. Yet carest not for my children's desires. They did but wish to dwell beneath these boughs in solitude. Yet even that was too much to ask of man. Well, not... Yeah, we're sorry about that, but that was because of the uh, Alamegans, and they're trying to find peace too, and yeah, they're just going all over the place now. I don't know what the solution is to that yet. Thus did they turn to me for succor. The sentence I pronounce upon thy kind is just. Redanian or Garlean, it matters not. The good intent of one excuseth not the misdeeds of the other. Essentially, we're all one group, so therefore we all have to either be on the same page and be good, or he'll kick our butts. Thy conflict have brought naught but anguish and misery unto the forest. All blame doth lie with the darkness that resideth in the forest. Can't argue with that. 
Whence sprung this calamitous seed? In the beginning, no such duality existed. For light mm. and dark given form when man was born. In the beginning... Oh. It would explain much. Not least why strife and sorrow follow ever in thy waking. Thou canst not deny the urgings of thine own nature. I don't know that much about the world's beginnings yet, so I can't really comment. Knowing that thy mere presence here portendeth tragedy, wilt thou persist in this pretense of peacemaking? Yes. <laughs> I have my crystal, you know. And I was entrusted with this purple one. Thou bearest the crystal which I bestowed mm -hmm. upon my wayward charges. That they should entrust so precious a gift to thee. They trust me. I'm a good person. Please trust me too. Thou standest apart from thy kin. Thou art the bringer of light. I. But there is something more in and everybody seems to mention that there's something more with me, or that there's more to me than just me being like Slayer or Primals and all that stuff. There's other stuff going on. But what exactly is that? Is it just because of the Echo? Or is it something else? Because if it was just because I have the Echo, other people have the Echo too. But everybody's Echo is different, I think. Uh, so many questions. Very well. I shall consider thy proposal. Shouldst thou survive my trial? Oh? If trial thou by combat. In the cause of harmony, I must have proof that thou art fit to play the role. Whether mine I and prove to me thereby that thou hast strength enough to stay the darkness which threateneth to consume thee. Darkness is going to consume me. Ooh. Yet if thou shouldst be found wanting, know that all men shall perish oh. in the storm of my judgment. So, if I don't pass this test, everybody's doomed. Oh, wow. Um... That's, uh, that's not that heavy of a burden at all, is it? No, um, it has to be worried, though. <laughs> I wonder if this, uh, what this challenge is going to be like, though. Ooh. Okay. Come to me, bringer of light. I shall await thee on the field of battle. Battle. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. Well, the it is rare indeed to find you so far from a tome. Huh? When did you get here? And why are you here? The Lord of Levin himself. Never till this day had I looked upon his visage, save in painted renderings made faint by time. Ever shall this scene remain etched in my mind's eye. <clears throat> Beg pardon, my lady. <laughs> Waxing poetic as always. But again, what are you doing here? I must beg thine aid on a point of research. If thou art resolved to face Lord Ramu, I would ask... Okay, I have a question. How is he able to see with those things when he's got those other goggles on to begin with? That'd be, like, really hard to see, I think. So, what do we got? The striking tree. Hard. Now accessible. Alrighty, so let us do a duty. Um, there we go. Striking tree hard. After forging deep in the self lens, you meet with the intimidating guardian guardian deity of the self, the primal Rema. 
But before he will consider your proposal of peace, the Lord of Leaven first demands proof that you possess the strength required to repel the Empire from the Twelvewood. The thunderous entity then vanishes in a blinding flash, leaving the words of his challenge yet echoing in your ears. Enter the Primal's Domain and prepare to be measured on the scales of battle. Uh, 60 minutes, 2 tanks, 2 healers, 4 DPS. Level 50, item level 65, I should be fine. Stay here, and we'll see if we can get in, hopefully quickly. And then we can move on. Oh, there we go. That was quick. Let us go in. Battle of 8. Interesting. The music's drastically different. Stunned and you get a purple electric AoE indicator. Make sure you hit the stunned person with the AoE. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, the music's actually pretty nice here. Um, oh gosh, uh, don't want multiple people doing that, I guess. Uh, uh, let's see. Oopsie. Prove thy words are more than empty banter. Oh! Um... Increased sentence. Oh geez, that doesn't sound good. Okay, that one's done. Oh no, this one. There we go. Okay, there we are. And, oh, the last one. There we are, and I gotta put that back on. Just saw the fate of whether mine ire. Yes, I can. I don't want to be hit though. Okay. There we go, and oh, they're gonna be hit with something. To mine. Thine arbiters. Oh, do I have to feed the arbiters again? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh. Oh, um... Uh... 
Yay! Did it. That wasn't too bad. The music's very mellow for a boss fight, to be honest. Um, I still think that my favorite uh, boss music thus far has been Titan. I think that's the best one. And everybody left without me. And I couldn't even comment, uh, give a calm. Ah! I, I was impressed with trying to do so. Oh. Bringer of light. I passed? I got an A+. Plus. I got a gold star. Oh. Hello, electric bubble. And I judge thee a worthy champion. The task of excising the sin that hath taken root in man's heart is thine. Mm hmm Shrink not from employing thy strength in service to the forest and the wider realm beyond. Like hungering shadows do the enemies of harmony gather, and meekness will but feed them. Okay. If man is to be delivered from the dark, it shall be by thy guiding light alone. Stray huh. not from the path, for if thou dost, thy people shall be truly lost. Hmm. Well, again, I think I'm the only one that can has protection against primals. The other folks don't, so yeah, I can sort of understand saying, yeah, the job is now in your shoot. You're going to be left with this task. Only you. Yeah, I sort of figured that out after the first one. <laughs> Bye, Remu. Oh yeah, Ariange, I got a lot of good readings. Thou hast slain the Lord of Levin. A regrettable act, but a necessary one. I do feel a little bad for defeating Remu because. Honestly, he was well spoken and sound mind compared to some of the other primals that we've come across. So it sort of hurts that we had to defeat him. In witnessing so what my now? struggle, the truth hath been revealed unto me. If I mistake not, it may yet prove a chink in the eternal armor of the Asians. Oh? What did you s What did you observe, or what are you thinking? But let us conclude our present business. I shall expound upon my findings at the Rising Stones anon. Alright. Going back to class. Learning stuff. All right, so go back to Little Solace. Teleport. Um, Hawthorne Hut. I was surprised that I didn't get killed by, like, hit by that, um, by that self, but considering that he wasn't looking at me, I sort of understand why. He's looking the other way, or they were looking the other way, so therefore, I'm safe. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we are. Elise, you have returned. Dare I ask how Remo received your visit? Uh, we had differences of opinion. We had a massive battle. I won, so. He thinks that uh, I, leaving the leaving things to me is a okay. He challenged you to a test of arms. It's it is well then that you had some experience in such matters. The people of both Gradenia and Little Solace will be relieved to hear that the Lord Eleven has accepted you as the Forest Champion of Peace. 
You have performed a monumental duty this day, Elise. The Elder Seeds here must be informed of your deeds at once. Mm-hmm. And what else now? What little gods are made of? Hmm. The Elder Seeds here will wish to hear of your experiences firsthand. Pray return to Gridania, make directly for the Lotus Stand. The conjurer at the Anovka's um, altar will be expecting you. Fare you well, Elise. Oh, I get to speak to the Silent One again. The one that's silent, but not yet silent. Oh, gosh. I was going to have a drink. Because I is thirsty. Alright, so, Lotus Stand. Okay, Doki. Welcome back, Honored Scion. We who knew of your mission have been most anxious to see you return. The Elder Seeds here awaits you within. Let's go see her and tell her all the different cool stuff we did. Okay. Oh, let's talk with some of the other people too, though. You should have seen Maxia when we got back to Little Solace. Grateful is an understatement. I thought he was going to shake Papalimo's hand off. <laughs> ah, the hero of the hour. Let us not keep the elder seeds here waiting. Ishola, what do you have to say? It would seem that Ida's appraisal of the situation held some merit after all. Mayhap I should not be so swift to discount her intuition. Hmm. And then cred. I fancy my presence was more of a help than a hindrance during our troubles with Leviathan, but this time around, well, even I have my off days. Yeah, but you're fine. At least you're not possessed anymore. Which is the best news ever. You are returned to us, dear friend. And none the worse for bearing the heavy burden which I did press upon you. Most glad am I of this. I am informed mm -hmm. that your efforts to negotiate a peace with Lord Ramu ended in conflict. Pray tell me what before Yeah. We didn't necessarily see eye to eye, but he asked me to fight him. We fought. I'm now the protector of the forest. Ramu made trial of you? Yep. I fear there is truth to his claim. It is the darkness within us that attracts the darkness without. That's true. But... It cannot be denied that misfortune follows man. For evidence, one need only look to the conflict brewing in Cartano. Or to the rising flood of refugees. Just with all the back and forth with the primals and the beast tribes, they're all call the beast tribes are all calling their primals because of just all the different wrongs that have been committed against them by the various nations. So I guess it is that all the nations then are like taking land and taking other things from the beast tribes and therefore they feel no no recourse save for calling their primals and instigating violence. Well, except for Remu, but Remu is like going to protect his children, which I think all of them do anyway. Uh so in other words, all of your scenes are greedy? I guess? Our shared struggle against the Empire should have served to seal our union. Yet the ties which bind the Alliance strain under the weight of gross self-interest. Hmm. As the scars of the Calamity begin to fade, so too does our sense of common purpose. Hmm. <laughs> Yet now is scarce the time to forget our shared responsibility. If this new sprung realm is to survive beyond its infancy, it must needs be nurtured by all. 
So in other words, everybody worked together towards a common cause. I don't think we're going to see that happening, though. Everybody's got some sort of beef with one another. you got to find something that would unite everyone. But what would that be? Like, I wouldn't say, yeah, let's have another Bahamut or something because everybody was, like, experienced that. But, uh, too many thoughts. Eorzea must be as one. Yet I fear that dream is still far off. Kane Senna, I don't know if I'll ever see a point where Eorzea is going to be one. Really, I don't. I can't see that right now. It's got to take something monumental for everybody to be one, and I can't see that happening. On behalf of the people of Gridania and the Elementals both, I thank you for all that you and your fellow Scions have done. You're welcome. How oft have I been compelled to look to you for aid of late, and offered all too little in return. As leader of this nation, I shall endeavor to prove a more worthy ally to your cause henceforth. Hmm. Well, that's nice of her, but I just don't know what else they can really do. Oh. Lord Ramu has departed, yet the keening of this ill wind grows no less insistent. Hmm. Voices of the forest, pray speak and I shall listen. What unseen evil begets this unease in my heart? Now will anybody answer you? Guess not. Hmm. Papa Limo, what do you have to say? Thus ends another daunting mission. Eh, Elise? I hope Lord Ramu could be persuaded with words alone, but nonetheless, I can only admire the adroitness with which he responded to the primal's sudden challenge. And it seems that Oriange too was pleased with the outcome. What say you, Elise? Shall we gather back the rising stones and ponder the lessons of the day? Hmm, I guess so. Because it seems like that's where I need to go. Go back to the Rising Stones. Pray return to the Rising Stones. Instead of the Waking Sands. Uh, now where am I to go? Oh, this way. This way, this way, this way. Intervising stones, yes. And oh, Gary Koharu, Kulina, Dwar, Harry, Hori Boulder, and Yozan. Where's everybody else? Oh, I guess Tataru and Flamin are over there. Oh, all the signs are in here, I guess, in the solar. Well, a lot of them just came with us anyway, so all gathered together to chit chat, I suppose. Oh. Guess not. It's just Menphilia here. Welcome back, Elise. Word of your momentous encounter with Lord Raymond precedes you. I would fain share news of my own, but Oriange's discoveries must take precedence. Upon witnessing your defeat of the Lord of Leaven, our learned companion was struck with a profound insight regarding the nature of the Asian's immortality. Let us assemble and discuss his observations together. Sure. School is now in session. Professor Orianger will soon take the floor. If everyone is ready, let us begin. Sure. I'm ready to learn. The floor is yours. As all here assembled now know, in its final hours as our order's headquarters, the Waking Sands did play host to a most unexpected visitor. I speak of the Asian clad in white, Elidibus. Yes, Unwelcome I remember him. Though his presence was, his words that day did serve to confirm a truth long suspected. 
that the Asians are eternal beings to whom physical destruction is as a temporary inconvenience. Are they really eternal? Uh. In the intervening time, Ariange and I have striven to discover a means by which the Asians might more permanently be slain. Mm. Is there a way? And tis my belief that we have found the thread that will allow us to unravel the twisted skein of their existence. Ooh, do tell. In the moments prior to Leviathan's most recent manifestation, the Sahagin Elder who summoned him was observed to undergo some manner of ascension. The etheric readings taken by Yashtola at the time of this transfiguration have proven most enlightening. The disruption to the flow of ether was sudden and dramatic. So tangible was the agitation, I scarce had need of my goggles. Mm. The significance of Yashtola's readings might better be understood in the context of mine own, taken at the instant of the Lord of Levin's demise. Unlike the primal, the Sahagin was not subject to etheric dissipation. Hmm. That's true. Before discussing our new discoveries, it may benefit us all to recall what we know of etheric behavior. Yeah, don't ask me. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm terrible with class stuff. Let us begin at what some might call the end. When we who dwell in the material realm die, our spirits dissolve into the flow of ether and are returned to the ethereal realm. In okay. Time, the restless energy which suffuses that plane streams back into our world, giving rise to new life. Tis as the heavens did decree, the way of all mortal souls. Alright, I'm following so far. Twixt this world and the next do the ethereal current swirl, bearing the very essence of life. Thus doth the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth continue unabated. Primals behave somewhat differently. In order to manifest and then maintain a physical presence in this realm, they must consume vast quantities of ether, most often in the form of crystals. Though they mm -hmm. may seem to live, their flesh is but ether given shape. But what about Moggle Mog? Wait, there were crystals well that one weren't there, but I didn't see any. Thus a defeated primal leaves behind no broken corpse. Rather, the essence of its form seeps back into the land whence it came and the energy of its shattered spirit is called back to the ethereal realm. And there it waiteth, till next the prayers of the faithful do draw it forth from the sea of ether to take their offering of crystals and make for itself a new body. Okay. But it brings us on oh, to they exist in a manner all their own. Quite. Even as the Sahagin Elder fell to the Admiral's musket shot, I witnessed the release of an ethereal cloud, which immediately took possession of a nearby minion. Mm -hmm. A soul that dissipateth not upon the death of the flesh. The secret of life everlasting. And in the claws of a Sahagin, no less. But I wonder... What would happen to one of these obstinate spirits, should there be no suitable host for it to claim? If mortal death entails a return to the ethereal realm, it seems mm. doubtful that the soul of an immortal would venture there. Nay, it merely withdraweth a distance, unto the shore of the ethereal sea, perchance, but no further. Yes, it exists in neither this realm nor the next. <clears throat> Abiding instead in the space that lies between them. Oh, okay. The Asians took control of Thancred by means of a crystal of darkness, an artifact which, 
If our theories are correct, serves as a gateway to the place I have just described. I was hoping people had forgotten about that. I am sorry, my friend. For a mercy, the weary road of our research hath brought us unto an answer. Okay. The Sahagan ascended to an immortal state, but he did not possess a crystal of darkness through which to flee this realm. Thus was he consumed by Leviathan. So as long as they have like a crystal of darkness with them, they're okay. They can use that and get to somebody else. If that's what I'm getting at. I, that's what I'm seeing here, at least. Like man, and thereby deny them resurrection. Therein lieth the path to victory. Thou art most but how would you do that, me. though? I guess that's the next question. The bodiless soul within an ethereal prison can we hope to defeat its unnatural constancy. Thus might even an eternal paragon be consigned to oblivion. Hmm. These feats are, of course, far easier said than done. At present, we lack a viable means to entrap and extinguish an Asian soul. Hmm. Yet, I believe so they figured out the puzzles, this matter just this trying to, like, we have get the last of it put in. Mm -hmm. hmm. I will depart at once to convene with the sages of Charlian. Together shall we divine the steps by which our goals oh. may be achieved. I have the utmost faith in you, Archon. So, is he just going to talk with them, or is he going to actually go to Charlian? Because he said the sage is a Charlian, so I guess he's going to Charlian. pardon, antecedent, but I would raise one final matter. Even now, a Charlian survey party seeketh to ascertain the fate of the students of Baldessian. Their findings shall soon be known to us. Though you harbor feelings of dread, I bid you surrender not to sorrow, but abide instead in hopeful prayer. Hmm. I shall, Archon. Thank you. Wow, showing a lot of respect by calling him Archon a lot. Huh? What is this place? Oh! What the heck? Lots of Ath Asians. The Lord of Leaven is returned to the ether, as was Leviathan before him. Remu's acquiescence was most intriguing. Inferno, Vortex, Crag, Whirl, and Leaven. All have now been humbled by the bringer of light. The limbless potential of man, Highland's servant, grows mightier by the day. So these are all the Asians? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Yet she prospers at great cost to her mistress, whose strength is all too finite. Seven times has the masses survived the rejoining, but their souls are grown weak and wane. wan. Wane? Yet even as it enervates, the ardor empowers our master. All that remains is to nurture the strength of the gifted to forge the final key. And that is a task to which we bend our every effort. Hmm? Oh, Lahabria. Divine seeds were ever wont to quicken in Eorzea's fertile soil. We only we need only lead men to the field, 
and by their eager hands shall a new deity arise. That which was shattered shall be made anew, and the one true God shall come again. Oh gosh. <sighs> wow. That was neat though. Guardian of Ears, yeah. Now, the matter Remu has, for the present, been put to rest. There is something I would show you, Elise. Hmm? What did you show me? It is a letter of thanks, signed by the leaders of the Eorzean Alliance, acknowledging the Scion's, Scion's tireless service to the realm. Hmm. It mentions in particular the names of all the defeated primals. Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, Good King Mogamog the Twelfth, may his palm ever be shiny, Leviathan, and now Remu. Mm. Needless to say, there is only one among our number to have faced them all. Oh, I wonder who that could be. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. And I thought these words of gratitude were addressed to our order as a whole. I feel that they were meant for you above all others. Uh, give me a moment here. I, too, must offer my heartfelt thanks for all that you have done. In the course of your duties, you have never once failed to answer my call to arms. Yep, I've been doing all the different stuff as you've requested. Ever, ever, ever. So, what do we get for all of this? You are a true hero, Elise, and Eorza is that much the safer for your presence. Mm-hmm. I'm standing there like dear cotton headlights. Pray do not misunderstand me. I said safer, not safe. I know only too well that we can ill afford to lower our god, uh, guard. Sorry. The Asians may be relied upon to sow chaos in the realm until such time as they are forced to stop. Why, even without their encouragement, you may be assured that man would form and strife on his own. And that is to say nothing of the beast tribes. Unless we learn to live in harmony, the primals too will return to plague us again and again and again. And yet, despite of all this, your deeds serve to inspire the people to give them hope for a better tomorrow, and there is no greater gift. That we have the courage to strive for what might otherwise seem an impossible peace, we owe it in no small part to the dangers you have faced on our behalf, and the people you've won over to our cause in so doing. Our list of enemies has ever been long, but think of the allies with whom we are now blessed. Of the sylphs of little solace, who wish not but conflict. Of the Alamegans and the Domans who stand with us, determined to halt the dread march of the Empire. And then there is Sid and the Fellowship of Noah, racing to unlock the mysteries of ancient Alag, that we might be spared the horror of another Ultima weapon. Oh wow! So there's reference to, this, to the Crystal Tower stuff too. Of course, when speaking of our greatest allies, we must not forget those closest to us, by which I mean our fellow scions. Thanks to their many and varied talents, our order is uniquely equipped to combat the far-reaching corruption of the Asians, and combat it we shall. 
Your enthusiasm, enthusiasm is truly heartwarming antecedent. Given our embarrassing wealth of allies, I trust it will not inconvenience you unduly if I absent myself for a time. Oh? Hi, Alphano. What do you mean, taking yourself away for a while? What are you doing? Alphano, I take it the troubles in Ulda no longer require your attention. Hmm. There are yet some rumblings of discontent, but the air is simmering violent is largely dissipated. Tis to report such that I stand before you now. Oh, okay, so things have sort of settled down now? Sort of? That, and to speak with you concerning the new organization we discussed. New organization? Come again? Ah, I have a message for you from LA. <clears throat> you recall the refugee girl? The one whose parents were missing? They were found unharmed. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> she wished for me to pass along her thanks to you. No problem. Why, Alphano, it might understand that you made the effort to remember the poor girl's name. I look forward to reading about all of uh, reading all about her in your report. I do hope you left nothing out. <laughs> Elise, you have been away from Revenant's Toll for some time now, I believe. But I suggest you put your heirs affairs of the realm to one side for the moment and take this opportunity to reacquaint yourself with the town. Oh? Which reminds me, one of the Doman children recently inquired as to your whereabouts. Yozan was his name. I believe he had come. He had some small matter he wished to share with you. Why not oblige him with a visit? Oh, what the kids want? Is it play hide and seek again? I'll go see the kids. I'll go see the kids. Where are the kids? They're outside because they won't be in the bar either. Because kids in a bar would be a bad thing. But they're in the Rising Stone, so that's fine. Oh! You got some friends! Shin and Roka. Okay, so there's four of them now. Or are those the names of the kids that, were, that we were searching for earlier? Look, it's Miss Elise! She's back from her adventures! We heard you were off fighting primals. And that some of the strongest enemies you could ever face. I wish I could have seen you in battle. Oh, I wouldn't have you kids there. Goodness gracious, no. Anyway, we want to be heroes too. So we finally formed our very own Domans Adventures Guild to protect all the Domans. Oh, you're so precious. Oh, do you think you could train us today, Miss Elise? Maybe you could show us how, do you, fo how you fought the primals. <laughs> What's all this commotion then? Oh, who's talking? Oh, you guys, Mr. Boulder and Mr. Coltonet. Do you know that Miss Elise is back? Well, they see us right in front of, front of them. So it would seem. Welcome home, Elise. My companion and I but recently became full members of the Scions, and I believe the proper introductions have yet to be made. I am known as Hori Boulder, and this bookish fellow is Coltonet. Though we remain largely unproven as adventurers, we have taken upon ourselves to instruct the Doman younglings in the arts of combat. Ugh, I told you, Mr. Mis Mr. Boulder, we are not younglings anymore. We are adventurers. And we are just asking Miss Elise if she could give us some special training. I think we're ready to hunt monsters alongside her, don't you? Um, not quite yet, kid. Not quite yet. Well, you've certainly been diligent with your drills. But I'm afraid the fiends of Mordona are still ever so slightly too dangerous for you. I have a counter-proposal. What if I were to cross swords with Elise? A demonstration of skill of arms, if you will. Cross swords? He has swords. I do not. My book against your sword, I guess? Hori, if I didn't know any better, and I do. I'd say you're merely seeking to test yourself against a legend. <laughs> Well, mayhaps I am. But what matters of motive when the children stand to learn so much from the lesson? <laughs> what say you, at least? Would you consent to spar with me? Ah, uh, sure. What the hell? Hurrah! We 
are going to have a tournament. Come on, everyone. We must prepare our gear for an outing. So where are we going to have this uh, crossing of swords? Do not do try not to disappoint them. Hmm. Have faith, Colinette. I shall summon every last ounce of my strength to make this a worthy contest. The fields to the east of town should prove suitable for our purpose. I very much look forward to our bout. Okay. Let us go and have the battle of the ages against Hori Boulder. Are we going to have bets as to who's going to win? Will I make some money off of this? Maybe. We'll see. We will see. Oh, gosh. Uh, east of Renovance Toll. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I still have to do the rest of um, Crystal Tower, too. Shoot. Oh. Oh, duty calls. Okay. Sure. Why not? Twas good of you to agree to this, Elise. I trust you're ready to begin. Yes, I am ready. I don't get to bring my birdie, though, with me. Unfortunately. Very well. Let us not keep the young ones waiting any longer. Okay. <clears throat> Hori, are you sure you certain you want to fish, fight her alone? This is the least you face. What better way to test my mettle? Pray, allow me to attempt the first round unaided. First round? After all, twas this hero's legend that led me to join the science to begin with. Without a least to inspire my efforts, I would not be half the warrior I am today. Your point is well made, but remember, this is for the children's sake as well as your own. Should appear the contest will end too swiftly, I shall add my spells to your blade work. Oh, come on. It's supposed to be him against me, not you and him against me. Ugh. Hello, you haven't begun yet, have you? Oh, who's this? Ida? Thancred? Ida? What? Who are they, all these people? When I heard you put your sparring match, I told everyone I can find. Though, you could thought you could use a crowd to cheer you on. Yes, and there is still more to come. When I mentioned Elisa's name, the reaction was quite enthusiastic. Oh, gosh. Oh my. Uh This is um This is uh going to be quite the thing. Uh quite the thing indeed. Uh let's see. Do 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 do. Do do, do, do. okay. Why, my very own popularity seems a sickly shade in comparison. You'd best claim victory, bringer of light. Your burgeoning reputation is at stake. Well, our teacher won't be beaten so easily. He's a master swordsman. You can win, Mr. Boulder. We shall soon see. On your guard. Okay. Let's try. Oh gosh, that grin. Alrighty. Okay. Day and night I've honed my skills, now comes the time to test them. Okay. And I am going to get uh, some lovely hits in. And this should work. Such power, this tales barely do you justice. Mr. Boulder won't lose, will he? It's not over yet. It can't be. Hi, the children have the right of it. Oh, Col Coltonette, you're joining? 
to this time I joined the fray. On your feet, Hori. Okay, you two, come here. Colina, you're going down first. Because you're just too much of a pain in the butt. Thunder? Oh, jeez. Okay. There we go. Thus I admit to be. Twas an honor and a privilege. Well, do you know what? Hori, you're gonna go down next. Oh, no you don't. It's okay. Okay. Oh, that's it? Oh no! He looks hurt! Miss Elise is so strong, but you can't give up, Mr. Boulder! Uh, can't despite. Uh, can't disappoint the younglings. Brrr. Never have faced a strength, but the lesson must continue! Yes, you must. You will. You will go down. In spirit. Okay. I don't know what exactly that did, but. Um, there we go. And. There we go. Down goes Hori Boulder! We are victorious! Uh, you... You bested me. I yield. Me and my pop-up book win. Gasp. That was incredible! She beat them both at the same time! Uh, we knew you couldn't lose, Elise. None can defeat the Guardian of Eorzea. Now I see why they send you to deal with the primals. I have much work to do if I'm even, even to attempt the same. Wow, we had quite a crowd. Quite the crowd indeed. Aww, they're trying to cheer on Mr. Hori Boulder. Impressive as always, Elise. Tis ever a pleasure to witness the spectacle of your martial, po uh, martial prowess. Uh, and judging by the smiles on these many faces, they too appreciate the hard-won strength that keeps the perils of the realm at bay. Guardian of Eorzea. Yeah. Yes, that is a most fitting title. Do you recall when we first met? Twas at the memorial service for the ba Battle of Cartano. Oh yes, I remember that very well. Thank you, sir. At the time, I was yet attempting to understand this land of Eorzea. I sought to grasp the reason why Grandfather willingly sacrificed himself to protect it. I shall speak plainly. My initial impressions were less than favorable. Just waiting for my connection to get back to normal, hopefully. There we go. Dire problems abandoned, and yet the effort I saw experienced was towards their solution was haphazard and half-hearted. I thought Eorzeans a foolish and childish people. Considering the shambles their home was in, I could not have been surprised if some had chosen to swear allegiance to Gaius and the order he proposed to enforce. The Legatus' single-minded military invasion precluded any such switching of loyalties, of course. Were it not for a desire to continue Grandfather's legacy, I would have abandoned the realm to its fate long ago. The threats were too many, the nations too involved and unstable. "'Twas you who convinced me the salvation of Eorzea was possible. "'Twas you who taught me, through countless acts of bravery, "'that what my grandsire sought to preserve was not the land, nor its history, nor any single nation. "'It was the people, these wonderful, often infuriating, stubborn people, "'that suffered blow after terrible blow, only to drag themselves back to their feet to face another day. 
Though he never put such feeling into words, I believe Grandfather's admiration for this inextinguishable courage grew into a fervent wish, a wish to aid Eorzea and its inhabitants in charting a course for the future. A wish that has now become my own. Oh! So you want to take off us where your take up the mantle where your grandfather left off. I too will endeavor to take up the mantle of Guardian of Eorzea and champion these people who toil towards a better world. That's quite a big challenge. I just wonder if he can even do it. Our cause, however, is not a simple one. The troubles that plague us are uh, of a scale that cannot be solved by the Scions of the Seventh Dawn alone. No, what is needed to tackle the root of the primal threat and effectively counter the schemes of the Asians is a new, expanded organization that operates beyond the limitations of nations and borders. If you would aid me in building such an organization, then pray, let us continue this discussion back within the walls of the Rising Stones. Hmm. So he's going to lead this organization? Uh, uh, I guess that's okay, but... All sorts of stuff into the rising stones. Yep. Entrance to the solar. Yeah, there we go. Infilia. Oh, it's too far away. With the primal threats sub presently subdued, now is the perfect time to focus on new endeavors. Alphano has long been laying the groundwork for this organization of his, and he looks to you uh, to help turn his proposal into reality. Pray, lend him what aid you can. All right. Thank you for coming, Lise. The world shifts and alters, and we, my friend, must ever be one step ahead of the chaos. What I propose is the formation of a new organization. A group that shall pave the way for a truly united Eorzea. Hmm. Uh, determination, tenacity, or skill speed. I say determination. All right. Recruiting the realm. Alphano wishes to request your assistance for his new endeavor. Okay. How can I help? Pray, forgive me if I tread over old ground, but I would first speak of the Grand Plan. Since the advent of the Seventh Astral Era, the leaders of the three nations have been deliberating over an accord that seeks to bring the, dis the disparate forces of Eorza together into a single entity. A realm-wide Grand Company, if you will. The military might of such an institution would be drawn from every corner of the land and directed against threats that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet, while the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of, the, of its formation have become the source of endless debate. And the longer these discussions continue, the more I sense the, impe uh, the impetuous towards the unification draining away. Thus, I've been campaigning for the creation of what I called considered a trial company. It will be on a much smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operation accorded to the Scions. Tis my hope that the successful utilization of such a force will lend momentum to the lagging deliberations. Also, being a primarily military outfit, 
I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fledgling organization under the authority of the antecedent. Oh. The Sands work tirelessly to protect Eorosea and its people. <sighs> but as you yourself witnessed the refugee revolt, there are... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just getting frustrated. Not with the game, not at all. It's just with my connection. Okay, are you going to stable yourself out now? But as you self-witness the refugee revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the sound's command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. The goals of my proposed organization and those of the science are ultimately identical, a point conceded by all concerned. But before I can move forward with, est with establishing this precursor to the true border-spanning grand company, it is yet necessary that I visit the three leaders to gain their official approval. A tiresome and time-consuming task, which is why I would ask you to accompany me on this journey and attend to business of recruiting our inaugural members while I am otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Oh, do I get to pick the people? Thank you. It is reassuring to, indeed to know that the bringer of light and her discerning eye will be selecting our future allies. Our first destination will be Limsa Liminsa. Let us rendezvous at Bulwark Hall. Okay. There's a couple people that I would think of for bringing into this new guardianship, but why do I have the sneaking suspicion that Alphano has already figured out as to the heck he wants? And he's going to tell me, well, I want you to pick this person, this person, this person, this person. And damn your thoughts about who I should have, who uh, I think might be a good fit. Uh, it's probably going to be the case, I'm sure. Polar call, that's up this way. I might be able to finish 5.4. 5.3 today. Ah, there you are. I'm ready to ascend to the bridge and speak with Admiral Blof Blofuswin. Well, the Admiral and I are finished finalizing permissory boundaries and signing parchments. I would have you begin the recruitment process in earnest. I have, of course, endeavored to spread the word of our organization through various channels, but I believe a personal approach will reach many who may otherwise remain ignorant of the opportunity. As for potential members, tis of no matter they should already be pledged to another institution, only that they are willing to lend their strength when the situation demands it. And in Indian range to the countryside, the upper decks alone are populated with sufficient candidates to suit our purpose. Once you're satisfied with your recruiting efforts, meet me at the airship ticker counter that we may prepare for the next leg of our journey. Oh, but I want the Company of Heroes! I want to get the Company of Heroes to come on this journey. It would be great. Not Mr. Um, Levia Betis and uh, Titus person, but not him. But the other folks in the um, who are actually in the Company of Heroes. I want them instead. Uh, where do I need to go? Oh, I've castle as good as any. Da, 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 da. Um, where do I want to go first? Um, the missing member. Okay. Oh, these these ladies. I remember these ladies. Eh? Who in the bloody hells were you talking to, Drylander? I'm a pirate, not some sodden knight out in shining plate. If you're looking for a self-righteous fop, try knocking on the dandy Carvalian's door. Okay, I guess she's not joining us. 
She could have said it a little bit more nicely, but I guess it's about as nice as I'm gonna get it. But oh well. Um, go this way, I suppose. Oops, I got caught. Uh, so I should go to Carleon's door and ask him. Mm. Uh, let's see. Um, somebody here. Hansa? No. A, a precursor to a United Airs and Grand Company. Hmm. Well, I do admire the scope of your ambition. My responsibilities here in Naldic and Vimelis keep me close to the forge. I have not the time to be traipsing hither and yon across the realm. Should you require my skills as an armor, however, I might be willing to accept some special commissions. Yeah, I didn't think that I'd be getting her to join. That really didn't make much sense to me. But, hey... Apparently, Alphano has better sense of who to get versus me. Um, where else am I going? Seventh Sage. Mm, oh, I uh, go this way, I guess. And... Is there anything else I missed? Oh, there is one. Oops. I gotta go back this way. There's somebody I missed. Go up this down here. And I want to go... No, I want to go this way. I always get confused. I always get confused. Um, let's see. Oh, over here. And oh, yes, I do want to have you on your on my team, please. Riol, please join, join. You're awesome. Well, if it ain't at least, I'd not forget a venture brave enough or daft enough to seek the shortcut into Titan's bedchamber. You you remember old Riol, don't you? Formerly of the Company of Heroes. Yes, I do. Three whistles at Bronze Lake. Aye, it ain't often I drag me arse out to Limsa for a drink, but right glad I did. How fare you these days? Hmm. You're looking to put together a new crew. Top tier work. <laughs> Sounds like a right lark, it does. Alrighty, last count me in. Yay! The heroes might have gone their separate ways, but I ain't ready to climb into me grave just yet. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm glad that he's joined the company of heroes. He left a good impression on me. So, at least so far, one person? Out of all the folks here in Limsa, have decided that they want to join. So, I guess there's that? But I don't know as to who else will be asking to join. Hmm. Well, they said the Carvillian fellow, so maybe him. But I don't remember meeting him much yet. I could be wrong and I'm misremembering, but... We will see, but I don't remember the, the name doesn't ring a bell, at least not just yet. Uh, okay, and up this way, and where else am I going? Uh, oh, I have to go to the Marauder's Guild too. Oh, okay. Then after that I can get back to the Aetherite Plaza, and that'll be that for this town, then I have to visit the other ones. So... Seventh Sage. Alright, so he's upstairs, I guess, here. Oh! Kavalain. You're the one I need to find. An organization with the freedom to operate with territorial impunity? I must say, your proposal intrigues me. But the Krakens well know that there is that there is a time to act and a time to watch. And I'm afraid this is this trial company of yours falls in the latter category. Ah, that's a shame. Lots of misses here. Not really getting much people. Well, we got Riol, which he's awesome, but not much else. Rainer? Why would we be talking to Rainer? 
He's not gonna leave. He's got his own big place here. Master Alphano's new organization? Yes, I had heard the formation of his trial company in, was in the offing. Tis with regret, however, I must decline your invitation. As commander of the Yellow Jackets, the, projection, the protection of Limsa Liminsa must receive my full attention. Yeah, um, Alphano, why would you ask him? He would definitely say no, so why even freaking bother? Ah, uh, well. It seemed silly to put forward such a thought to Rainer. Granted, if they start doing that to some other ones, then I'm really... I'm really at a loss. Oh, there he is. Alphano, there you are. Elise, was your recruiting went well, I trust? I am curious how my proposal was received by the rough and ready folk of Limsa Liminsa. Ah, a member of the legendary company of heroes indicated his interest. Astonishing. I knew enlisting your aid was the right choice. Few could boast the acquaintance of such an elusive character. I too was successful in my task. The Admiral con consented to sign all the documents requiring her approval. I can only hope that my visit with the Elder Seed Seer pro uh, proceeds as smoothly. Pray continue on to Gridania at your own pace. I shall await your arrival at Novka's offer. Alter. The... Okay, so, um, actually, it's cheaper, isn't it? Gridania, 120. Oh yeah, that's definitely cheaper. Uh, no, I don't need to see that cutscene. Thank you. Let's see. Come on. There we go. There we go. So now we have to go to the... Um, Conjurer's Guild, and then, then, we will get to, uh, see Alphano, and then he'll tell us as to who we need to bug. I wonder who we're going to be speaking to, though. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, Conjurer's Guild. Um, um. Oh, there you are. Alphano! Oh, that was too far away. My audience with the Elder Seeds here is due to commence momentarily. I would be grateful if you would once more see to the task of recruitment here in Gridania. As you seem, as you deem the well of potential candidates have run dry, let us rendezvous at the sh airship counter, uh, airship ticket counter as before. Okay, so where do I need to go? Uh, amphitheater of Kalu Falls. Okay, uh, let's go to the amphitheater first. Mm, get a little closer. Amphitheater. Okay. Laurentius? Really? Why? I'm surprised he's out of jail. Cause he got in. He was he was involved in that whole bit with um uh going with the Garleans and such. Oh gods! Can it truly be you? But what fickle fortune must the first face I see upon release be yours? Oh, you just got out. Eh? Could that be? You don't remember me? Oh no, I remember you. It is I, Laurentius, the man whose crimes you exposed. I was a whaler and a regular patron at Buscarans. Yes, I remember now. Well, of course you do. I was beginning to wonder if jail had changed me more than I realized. Not that I in particular wish to be recognized after my shameful conduct. <laughs> Less said about my past, the better, I suppose. And what of you, adventurer? What bus business brings you to this part of Gridania? Recruiting, eh? And what is your policy on reformed convicts? As matters stand, the Wood Whalers will have not more to do with me. This... this may be the second chance I was looking for. Renovance toll, you say? I shall leave at once. You shall not regret this, I promise you. I am a changed man. I don't 
trust you. <laughs> I really don't trust you. You were... I know people deserve a second chance and everything else, but honestly, I don't trust him. Why do I need to trust him? I don't want to. I really don't. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tis not often a guild officer such as myself gets recruited. And this company of yours certainly sounds to have some promise, but its duties appear less than focused. I must refuse your invitation until such time as your organization is more organized. Okay, I can understand that, and I can respect that. Because if it seems too chaotic or not very organized, it means it's probably not going to last very long. Which would definitely be problematic. So, um, there's one over here, down this way. Yeah, Apkalu Falls. So we'll speak with them. Uh, there we go. Oh! You two! It's been forever! Grandfather, you must call it a day. Let us return to the guild and rest ere your tormented pack gives up on you for good. I'm terribly sorry, we were just... Oh, Elise, isn't it? It has been some time since our paths crossed outside Coppervale Mines. Yeah! It's been like forever! Why, you're barely more than a novice adventurer then, but look how far you've come. Mother Meun tells me twas you who felt the fearsome black wolf. And now you seek stout-hearted souls to fill the ranks of a new order? Hmm. Well, your cause is undoubtedly just, and my old companion here would be much relieved to see me in good hands. Yes. Yes, I'll do it. This is the very thing I've spent my entire adventuring career working towards. I shall join your company as soon as I've seen Isildur safely home. Yay! Another friendly face! Oh my gosh. Okay, things are turning around. Things are turning around. I still don't like Larentius, but I do like her. So, that's, uh, that's a good news. Why him? Oh my god, why the old man? He's been through enough torture. You would offer this old man a place in your company of champions. I am both puzzled and honored by your invitation. Pray forgive me, young mistress, but I cannot accept. I've sworn to abide here for whatever scant years remain to me, and bear responsibility for the evils my lady has wrought upon this land. Yeah, I didn't think that we would be getting him to join because his mistress was the one that, um, was, uh, she, she was the mistress of Hawk Manor, and all the different chaos that... Um, he caught that uh, she caused he took tart pretty bad and I didn't think that he would want to join us that and the fact that he's pretty old too um, I can't really see him doing anything with the with uh, whatever plan that um, uh, Alphno has going oh right in front of me awesome what news, Elise? For my part, the Elder Seeds here was most amenable to our requirements. A former wood whaler and a seasoned adventurer? Our company will not lack for variety, that much is certain. An interesting harvest, indeed. Shall we strike into Uldal while the iron is hot? Let us meet at the Royal Promenade and endeavor to include our remaining business. Our journey draws to a close. Ooh. Yes, that's true. Uh, let's see. Ulda. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to use this. It's cheaper. Nope. Pass the shoulder. Yes. It's only 120 gil. It's a lot cheaper. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, skip the cutscene. Oh, 
Alrighty. Um, let's see. Roll promenade, right? So just speak to the attendant. Go to Husting Strip. And we will get there. And roll promenade. So around here. Around here. Not that far away. Oh, I gotta get a little closer. Ulda, the gilded city where one's fortunes defines one's worth. I hope some manner of fortune is with us and that this final leg proves as successful as the previous two. Might I suggest ascending to the lower level before beginning your recruitment efforts? I do not think the Sultana will take kindly to us poaching from her personal guard. Let us meet back here at the promenade where our respective tasks are complete. Good hunting, Elise. Okay. Question. Can I jump from here? I can! I broke I broke some of my bones, but I'm okay. Um let's see. Go this way first. Cause I see a few. Oh, there's one in the Weaver's Guild? Really? Okay. One here. Oh. <gasps> Orson? Really? Why would Okay, I see right now it's sort of like a lap of people who you met a long while back and saying, Hey, remember they exist? Yeah, we want to show you that they that they exist too and uh, see if you can get them into your company. Oh, what a happy coincidence. Do you remember me perchance? I'm Orson, the Church of St. Adama Blandama. Uh, thank you again for your timely rescue. I must also thank you for preventing that fraudulent priest from preying on dry bones less fortunate. A most upsetting business. Are you here with your companion? Uh, Thancred, wasn't it? Ah, tis new companions to seek then. Your proposed organization sounds a powerful force for good, but my place is at the church with the children. Nevertheless, I wish you well in this undertaking. Well, thank you very much. I didn't think that we'd be recruiting you anyway, but it's good to get an update, I suppose. Um, Weaver's Guild? Who would we get from here? Honestly, um, Alphano's choices are odd. Oh. A lady that's trying on clothes. Okay. I'm sorry, you wish to recruit me? Is this some new fashion manner of propo pro 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 um, propositioning a lady? Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. This lady is already spoken for. Good day to you, miss. Again, I'm... Alphano, what the hell's with you? You're trying to get me to recruit all these... I wouldn't say weird people, but... You're trying to get me to work with all these people, and... They don't really want to give me the time of day. It seems like pointless running around. Seems rather silly. Uh, Landabert. Landabert. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised what rumors drift down to Pearl Lane. I know of this glorious new company of yours, and that how far you, how far I'd go av to avoid getting involved with it. Whispers on the street say your organization is funded by corrupt coin, by syndicate money. If you think you're recruiting for a just cause, then you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Wait. We're funded by the Syndicate? Why? Oh, this doesn't bode well. This really doesn't bode well. I don't like this one bit. A company that looks to cure the ills of the realm entire? <laughs> Listen, friend. I can scarce bear the comp complaints of the next all over, let alone conundrums of a neighboring nation. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be up for it either. Um, the Colosseum? Oh! Who'll be there? Hmm. Colosseum. Gladiator's Guild! 
Alrighty. So. Wilred! Wilred, my boy! I remember you. Hmm. Wait, you're the lady who came to Lil Alamigo looking for that masked devil. Yeah. Who knows what might have happened if you hadn't... I'd probably be dead. And a whole lot of more of my friends besides. We were such fools. Any road. That disaster really got me thinking about our homeland and about the outsider who saved us from ourselves. I realized how easy I'd been manipulated and vowed to make of myself a more worldly man. So, here I am. A new company of champions. And you say it'll take me to all corners of the realm? Mm-hmm. That sounds exactly like the opportunity I need. And don't worry, I'm not the same stri uh, stripling you met in Little Alamigo. I prepared myself to fight the evil I, n I now know is out there. Oh, good. Okay, so... Got some positive out of this? Yeah? E? Uh. Alright, the airship landing. Oh, no. Promenade, promenade. Oops. I have to go to the promenade. Damn it. Oh well. At least it's not that far. I was getting ahead of myself. Testing strip. I <sighs> was really getting ahead of myself. Oh darn. Um, let's see. Go this way this time. Again, it really doesn't matter because, well, it's equal distance. And... Alpha no. How fared you, Elise? What hidden gems did the streets of Ulda offer up to your unrelenting gaze? Hmm. A single Alamegan youth? Well, you've certainly given us an admirable start, even if our ranks are yet somewhat thin. In these troubled years following the Calamity, talk of Eorzea's salvation must seem akin to grasping at clouds. But there are those who have risen to the challenge nonetheless, and the hope that inspires these people was born in no small part from the victories you have self have won. Thank you, Elise. I will not squander the precious gift you have placed into my keeping. These recruits will become the foundation of a new beginning. All right. And yes, we are free to begin. As you have no doubt surmised, the Sultana also graced my trial company with her blessings. Our first wave of recruitment is over. The document's signed and the finances secure. Yeah, they're with the syndicate, though. What the hell are you thinking, Alpha No? You're concerned by the syndicate's involvement. Yes! As well as I. Thus was the origin of every coin of their contributions carefully scrutinized and recorded. This organization will not be built on corruption. I hope you're right, but forgive me, I have my doubts. And naturally, I would prefer not to rely on outside sources at all, but even my family's substantial coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. As for the rumors and doubts surrounding this enterprise, well, such things shall plague us until the company has a chance to prove its worth. It will not be an easy process, but we will earn people's trust one success at a time. Speaking of time, we should waste no more of it. Let us return to the Rising Stones and lay the first stone for United Eorzea. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh! What's this? A cutscene, obviously. Why? Okay. Oh, the Sultana! Nanamo!
Tell me, General, what think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? It's a good one, but still worries me. I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Mm -hmm. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? Yeah, but then at the same time it probably hurts a bit that somebody else is taking initiative and not yourselves, right? We have all pledged our cooperation, yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. Mm -hmm. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army. Hmm. I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the warrior of light would betray our cause. Hmm. No, I wouldn't betray their cause. Absolutely not, but... <sighs> Lots to think about. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Talechi. Yeah, I figured that was probably bugging her a fair bit. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. Yeah, all you have is just what you believe would happen based on the information you have, but nothing really concrete to throw into a court, right? Oh. Poor animal. He has all but committed treason, and yet we can do nothing. Pretty much, not without proof. You can't do anything. Poor animal. What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! <laughs> This is weighing so hard on her. Oh. Oh. Oh, Nanamo. Her hands are tied. Damn it. Faith, your grace. It is not over. Poor Nanimo. And go the Rising Stones. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to... Go the Rising Stones, 
Have more chitter chatter and see what else is next, I suppose. Oops. Yes, I want to go in. Alrighty. Come on in. Let's go. And Alphano! Oh, that is a journey I soon wish... I, that is not a journey I soon wish to repeat. But I cannot pause to rest. The culmination of all our effort is at hand. I must see to the preparations for the inaugural ceremony. Thank you for allowing me to monopolize your services, Elise. I am certain the antecedent will be relieved to see you free to, for other duties. Oh, okay. So what are we doing now? Heretical harassment. Greetings, Elise. Alphano tells me all is in place to begin his trial company. The Scions shall be grateful to have the support of such an organization. The inaugural ceremony is said to take place here at Rising Stones. Totaro is cooperating with Alphano to see that all is in readiness, so I'm afraid the recruits themselves have been left to their own devices for the time being. Quite a number of new faces have arrived in Renovance Toll of late, and I wonder if Slapworm might not find himself overwhelmed. Would you speak with him and see if there's aught that he requires? Alright, so speak to Slathborn and see what happens next. Here we go. Uh, and he was outside, I think. Yeah. There we go. Slathborn! What can I do for you, Elise? I thought you'd have your hands full helping out with this new arm of science. <laughs> I barely noticed your recruits arrived. Twas barely a trickle compared to the flood of treasure hunters we have passed through here every day. While I appreciate your offer of aid, tis more your burden that concerns me. I'm told this trial company were answered directly to the antecedent, so I trust this means less work for you in the long run. Slathborn, this shipment, we couldn't... Huh? What happened? God's woman, what befell? We <coughs> we were bringing a shipment to Renovance Toll, provisions earmarked for the frontier effort. But just as we thought sought to cross over into Mordona, we were set upon by brigands. I <coughs> I believe that they may have been heretics. There were too there are many, too many. We only escaped their lives by abandoning the supplies. Pray forgive us. There is not to forgive. Permission, provisions can be replaced, but smart soldiers are hard to find. Take your rest and I'll have someone come along to attend to those wounds. What to do? If heretics are involved, then this is like to be more than a case than a simple thievery. Ishgard will need to be informed. Ooh, Ishgard! Whence did these supplies originate? Horse fa ho House Fortin. <gasps> Horse foot. We collected the provisions from Camp Dragonhead proper. Understood. I shall see their prize of this development. Elise, were you not on good terms with the Knights of House Fortin? I will be sending them a missive immediately, of course, but I would have you travel there and offer your considerable talents. Yes, I realize I contradict my earlier hopes to lighten your load, but I need someone who can help bring this incident to a satisfactory conclusion. Our favorable relations with Ishgard are far too important to risk half measures. I'm more than happy to go. It's been a while since I've seen them. Thank you for your understanding. I am certain Lord Harshfont will be glad of your assistance. Okay, so Camp Dragonhead and to see a certain somebody we haven't seen in a while. Yay! It's been a while since we've seen him. Oh, 
Okay, Hershephon, where are you? Probably by his desk again. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Hershephon! Well, well, if it isn't my fine friend Elisa Stray, would you care for a plate of roast caracol? Some mulled wine? No? Ah, I see you haven't come to my hall merely to escape the biting cold. I was, in fact, on the verge of opening an urgent missive from Renovance Toll, and I suspect the timing of your arrival is no coincidence. Yeah, about that. When the cold sets in. Okay. The incident with the new frontier oh. hands? No, no, you need not elaborate. I have been following their progress with no small amount of interest. Brave men and women all. They do our nation a great service. The existence of a fortified outpost in Mordona will do much to dissuade the Empire from trespassing on Curthus soil. Mm-hmm. Right glad am I that you have chosen to lend your support to this endeavor. Never let it be said that House Fort Tom does not acknowledge the efforts of her allies, or her debts. Twas in the spirit of gratitude that I arranged for sundry supplies to be delivered to Revenant's Toll. That the shipment should chance to be waylaid by heretics is poor fortune indeed. Poor fortune, I say, yet not without precedent. If you would know the truth of it, these incorrigible villains grow more organized with each passing day. Really? Sounds like things are getting worse all over. This new unity of purpose we attribute to their leader, the Lady Iceheart. But though I have devoted significant oh. resources to the task of identifying this woman, we have yet to learn so much as her birth name. Oh, wow. What Shrouded in mystery. The speak of Iceheart in reverent tones, and would gladly embrace death rather than betray her. Such loyalty is rare indeed. And I fear to imagine what so committed a collective might achieve. Uh. The brigands have not yet been so brazen as to risk direct confrontation here in Dragonhead. Some few of their number have, however, been sighted not far to the west of here, and with ever increasing regularity. Okay. A visit to Whitebrim Front may bring you the answers you seek. Will you brave the snows, knowing what implacable foes may lie in wait? Absolutely. Gotta get those shipments through. Halone's blessings be upon you. Though I take Halone. Oh, I, I thought it was Halone. My own countrymen are not so well suited as you adventurers to dealing with such foes. Were they dragons? It might be otherwise. I like dragons. But truly, I could not wish for a finer ally. You have done much for my house in the past, and I have no doubt but that I shall have cause to celebrate your deeds again. I'll do my best to help out. Should you learn aught of value, pray return to me forthwith. A warm hearth and a warmer welcome shall be waiting for you. Ooh, cool. Maybe some of that um, mulled wine and some of the other food you mentioned? That sounds really good. Uh, let's see. Speak with Jomont. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I've seen him. Ooh, a magic carpet. A whole new world, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, snows. Snows all over the place. Uh, that's not where I need to go. That's not way from front. Fly towards the light. No? No, that's not where I need to go. I need to go down here. And do, 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 do. almost coming in for landing. There we go. Oops. And go up the stairs and speak with Dromont. It's been a while since I spoke to him too. It's like right now it's just revisiting a lot of stuff I've been to before, and sort of like um sort of I don't know uh what's the term. Oh. There's a word I'm looking for and I can't quite grasp it right now. 
Elise, is there aunt you'd ask of me? Pray, speak plainly. I am a man of action and need no honeyed words. On the trail of a band of th thieving heretics, you say? By the fury. But you do seem destined to cross paths with those villains. I must confess, then, tis a sad truth that the, that the wilds hereabouts have indeed grown thick with their number. They strike swiftly, without warning, and canny enough to evade our most able trackers. But tis not merely the newfound organization that confounds us. The heretics seem somehow changed. I do know what I know not what manner of influence this ice heart wields, but the men we seem we face seem utterly lost in the grip of righteous fever. Tis an unsettling and unnatural zeal. Mayhap you would care to question one of the recent victims? As fate would have it, your arrival came moments after a traitor was waylaid in the road. A patrol found the unfortunate fellow lying senseless in the snow, and carried him to our infirmary. Assuming he has regained the use of his faculties, the merchant might recall some detail that could aid you in your task. Ooh. Okay, let's go speak to him. Uh, where can we find him? Well, not in here, I don't think. Probably outside? I guess? Or maybe in bed. If he was waylaid and everything else, he might be hurt. Or maybe not. Mm, am I speaking to the merchant? No. Uh, in here somewhere? Uh... Nope. In here? Nope. Um... We're... Up the stairs, I guess. Uh, sorry, Moogle. Mm. Okay, I guess maybe inside. Maybe he's hurt. Um... Okay, so he's not there. Up these stairs, then. Oh, there you are. Mistreated merchant. Tell you what happened. Why, yes, of course. I'm quite recovered enough for that. Anything to help to catch those cowardly blackhearts. I was traveling my usual route to Whiteburn Front uh, when a sudden blow sent me reeling. The next thing I knew, I was on the ground and several heretics were rifling through my cargo. Arms, armor, crystals, they were taking everything. Twas then that one of them noticed my bleary gaze and stalked over to me better stalked over to better acquaint my head with his mace before darkness claimed me however i distinctly heard the words return to snow cloak i dare say that is where they're hauling my goods but you'll not catch me rushing off from pursuit they tell me twas a miracle i survived at all and i'll not trust my thick skull to save me a second time hmm Go to Snow Cloak. Now, yeah, where was Snow Cloak? Snow Cloak, Snow Cloak. Stone Vigil by Mr. Minion. Oh, there! Okay. Um. Go this way. And make it to Snow Cloak and find us to where those heretics are. All right. Oh. Oh dear. Oh my. This doesn't look good. More dead bodies too. Cr snow crunches under heavy tread. Uh, tread of heavy boots. Oh boy. Okay. Get here. Let's destroy you together. There we go. And it'll be just you. There. That's done. Oh gosh. Lots of dead people. Um, Door and door night. Oh, okay. I have to go back this way. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, let's see. How's door and door night? Okay. Draw your weapons foul. Wait. 
I recognize you, Venture. You are come seeking heretics? Yeah. Then we share a common purpose. We were on patrol when we chanced across one of their raiding parties and pursued them here. By rights, we should have had them cornered in this ravine. And yet, they are gone. Vanished like icy wraiths. So, this place holds a secret, I suppose. Yeah, I'm very short compared to the other guys. I'm really short. Who are you? Hmm. Who are you, lady? Was that... Ice heart? Huh. You glimpsed a woman atop the cliff. Could it be Iceheart herself come to sneer at our folly? And where did she disappear? The heretics must have discovered a passage through the frozen wall, some hidden tunnel that escaped our notice. We have not the men to risk further investigation. Twould be best if we were to return to Whiteburn Front and lay our suspicions before Lord Dromont. Okay, let's go to see Lord Dromont and let him know that we found what I think think is Lady Eyes Heart and she's got her base at Snow Cloak. Wondering how we can raid it. I wonder. Huh. Well, let's see. Gotta speak to Dramont again. And up we go. And up again. There you are, Dromont. Elise, it appears I owe you my thanks once again. The surviving knights spared no detail in their report. The men you found out near Snowcloak were some of my finest. That they should be bested so handily. I fear I woefully underestimated the threat these heretics pose. While I understand you might balk the notion, I might ask you that you put aside your mission and consider the stolen provisions lost to us for now. It would be ill-advised to blunder unprepared into what may very well be the lair of our enemy. Pray return to Dragonhead and inform Lord Horshafont of your discoveries. He will wish to plan contingencies of his own. As for Iceheart and her fanatics, the freezing heights of Snowcloak will not shield them for from our justice for long. Hmm. So I guess for that, it's um, a battle with them another time. And not quite yet. Not quite yet, indeed. Uh, let's see. So, Horshfan got some bad news. Got some bad news, unfortunately. There we go. Ooh, voiced? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? Your return is most oh. timely. Of their own accord, my thoughts had turned to your task and the progress thereof. <laughs> I confess, my imaginings tended toward the grim and bloody. But you are here now. Oh my god, I'm so sure compared to him. <laughs> wonderings do little justice to the reality of your travails. Tell me, what did you learn of Iceheart? Well, I learned a lot. And this transpired at Snowcloak? Mm-hmm. Of all the highlands, that towering wall has borne the worst of the region's brutal shift in climate. So inhospitable has Snowcloak become that we have still to survey the area in its entirety. Could its frozen heights conceal the heretic's hideaway? Mayhap a more robust reconnaissance effort is in order. Hmm. Putting such considerations aside for the moment, we still know far too little of this ice heart. That she is capable of commanding such a band of fanatics bespeaks natural authority and no small measure of charisma. As much as I would like to fathom this mystery with you, the situation has grown beyond my personal purview. 
I am bound by duty oh. to inform the Temple Knights and request that they bring this matter to its conclusion. Oh, so the Temple Knights are above the houses? Giving the glowing reports the new commander has garnered thus far, I am certain that they can be relied upon to take appropriate action. Oh, power change. Okay. Though Icehart's true identity yet eludes us, you have provided us with a point from which to begin. Sometimes it takes but a single stone to prompt an avalanche. Yes, that's true. On the matter of the stolen provisions, I have already made arrangements for a second shipment to be sent to Revenant's Toll. I could not well allow such an honorable venture to be undermined by one miserable setback. Mm. Thank you. That was very sweet of him. Uh, go back to Slathborn. Uh, there we go. All right. Slathborn. New supplies are coming. At least, it's good to see you return to the to the toll. How fared you in the frozen wastes of Corthus? Hesretan is to send us a second shipment. I must thank, send thanks to Lord Horsefont and his continued generosity. Yet, even as our town grows in prosperity, I feel it will attra attract ever greater numbers of those who would do us harm in the name of greed or power. All of us, Alphano's new recruits included, must remain vigilant against such threats. Ooh, what do we got? Not circlet. Uh, no, nothing there. Okay. And oh, brave new companions. While you're away in Curthis, preparations of the inaugural ceremony were all but completed. Although Tataru doesn't yet seem, although Tataru does yet seem somewhat flustered. I've taken enough of your time. Why don't you head into the Rising Stones and see if your frantic receptionist could do with a hand? Oh, Tataru! We need to help Tataru. Tataru needs help. She's too cute. She is way too cute. Way too cute indeed. Oh, there she is. Tataru! How can we help you? These parchments need to be sorted in these documents. Why are they even here? Oh, I'm sorely tempted to foul the lot in my waste paper basket. Ah, Elise, you startled me. Oh, it seems like, no, you're very happy. You, you wish to lend a hand? <laughs> Splendid. Would you be a dear and hand these uniforms to new recruits? They're scattered about Renovant's Toll, and I haven't the time to track them all down. The recruits know to don their garb immediately and assemble here in the Rising Stones. You'll want to report directly back to Alphano if you don't wish if you don't wish to miss the ceremony. I wonder if the signs will ever have matching uniforms. A well funded organization is a well dressed organization, I suppose. Hmm I guess. I have to find eight recruits. Okay, hopefully they're not hidden too much. Let's find them. Hmm. Uh, anybody here? Nope. Nobody here. Uh. Anybody? Oh! Yu Yu Hase. Those who believe this company will see no riches are, sh are short sighted fools. The giving of oneself tis an investment in the future. Thus, I decide, thus did I sign my name to the cause. And the ultramarine uniform, a deep blue uniform crafted spe uh, specifically for Alphano's new trial uh, organization. Here you go, sir. These uniforms were a splendid idea. Once our organization has made a name for itself, there should be wealth aplenty in selling replica costumes to the adoring masses. Okay. Uh, there's another person around here somewhere? Oh, up there. Um, stairs. Stairs! More stairs! 
Laurentius. Oh, hi. I thought it best to mimic my fellows here, but I admit I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. Here's your uniform. Ah, our new uniforms. I'm reminded of my introduction into the Wood Whalers. Okay, now who's next? Uh, more people this way. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a gentleman there. Ergamus. Okay. This scarlet garbs mark me as a proud member of the Maelstrom and a hearty defender of Limsa Liminsa. Yet in truth, I stand for the betterment of a realm and thought this new company a fine opportunity to contribute on a grander scale. Here you go, sir. Oh, now that's a striking shade of blue. Put alongside my Maelstrom uniform, my road rub will certainly not lack for color. This is true. This is very true. Well, Red, I've got a uniform for you, dude. Little Alamigo could learn much from Renovant's Toll. That, that this town could be so alive in the midst of such desolation. Here's your uniform. I've never worn aught quite so voluminous. Well, I'm sure I'll grow accustomed to the extra cloth in time. Oh, he's probably not used to wearing a lot of stuff because of where he was before. It's just very, very warm where he was before. Uh, just waiting for my internet to be nice again. Oh, Riol! Hello there, last looking for me, will ya? I suggest giving a whistle, but I'm not sure I'd hear it amongst all the bustle. Here's your uniform, good sir. Oh, proper uniforms and all. This thing will cut off the blood to me head. Not to worry, though. I'm sure she'll be fine after making a few adjustments. Oh, yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh. Elian. Is this adorer has retired from the adventure life. Though I shall miss his wisdom and irrespon... Irres Irrepressible spirit. I am excited to forge my own path forward. There we go. Ah, yes, the uniform. Thank you. Truth be told, the thought of pledging myself to such a lofty organization is somewhat intimidating. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find one. One is here somewhere. Um, over here? Somewhere? Uh, where are you? Oh! Ephemy. Elisa Stray. Gods, I did not expect to meet you strolling about town. The tales of your primal battles were what inspired me to come to Renovant's Toll. And here's your uniform. It is an honor to receive this uniform from your hands. I shall wear it with pride. Okay, and one more. One more. Um, oh, there he is. There we go. There's the last one. Ill... Ebird? Ilbird? I don't believe we've met. I am Ilbert, and I will have the honor of leading my fellow recruits as captain. Much did I lose in the calamity, and I look forward to aiding others in rebuilding their lives. And that's the last one. The uniforms are a shrewd decision. There is no easier method of creating a common bond what is, essentially, a band of strangers. Okay, so now i got to find Alphano, and he's in the Rising Stones. And if... I have read correctly. This is the last quest, I think, in the patch. 
So after this, I think what we'll do is we'll end the stream there. And maybe my connection will be better for next time. At least that's my hope. It's been ridiculous today. I truly am sorry. Yes, Elise? Ah, Tatara mentioned you were handing out the new uniforms. I assume you now met the rest of the recruits. Some of you answered the call to arms I put forth through the established grand companies and such. We are not yet an army, but there is much a small corps of elite warriors can achieve. Did I mention I thought of a name for the company? Tis my hope that it will soon it shall soon be known across the breadth of Aorcia. The moment of truth draws near, Elise. Once the last of the recruits have gathered, I shall make the official announcement. Yay! Comrades! Oh. Your presence here this day signifies the momentous choice that each of you has made. Oops, no, I don't want to skip. With your strength now pledged to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, you are beholden to no single nation. You stand as the vanguard for a united Eorzea. From this moment forth, I declare you crystal braves. The crystal braves. Realm and face our enemies as one. Hmm. Not a bad name, I guess? Whether it be the Beastmen and their primals, or the conflict in Cartano, it is plain that the nations of Eorzea cannot solve the problems which plague the realm. Thus does it fall to some few heroic souls to succeed where they have failed. Come, take your place at the Scion's side as guardians of Eorzea. And together, we shall fight for the freedom of all! For the freedom of all! Oh, it's a very snazzy blue looking uniform though. A rousing speech, Alphano. Or should I say, Crystal Brave Commander Levayeur? <laughs> Please, Antecedent. The title is honorary. I shall not be leading the troops into battle, as it were. We are of the same purpose. Hmm. Let us join hands and do what must be done to save this land. The Scions stand ready. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. What do you have to say now? I'm eager to see what the Crystal Braves might accomplish. This shall prove an interesting time indeed for the Scions. Hmm? Yes, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. So our worst fears are confirmed. The entire Oh, jeez. Such power defies comprehension. Yeah, what could cause the entire island to disappear? Is that Truly? something can to... Kryle is alive? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm happy for Mimphilia. Her friend is alive. I see. Pray, inform me of her condition oh. changes. Yes, I shall pass on your words to Arianger. Oh, so her friend lives, but not in good condition, I take it. My hmm. thanks. I shall contact you anon. Well, I'm glad to hear that her friend's okay. I hope that she pulls when I through. I of the Isle of Val, I dared not hope that my friend had survived. 
Yet, by some miracle, it would seem she has. She's still to regain consciousness, it is true, but better that than death. Oh, so she's sort of like in a coma then. Putting this happy I guess. to one side, we must now endeavor to make sense of the readings taken by the survey party. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what information the survey party found, though. It appears the etheric disturbance which accompanied the Isle's destruction is of a magnitude alarmingly close to that of Ultima. Could the Asians be responsible for this devastation as well? I guess, but how? That's my question. I wonder. Have you heard art from the Mother Crystal since the battle with the Garleans? That came out of left field. But... Huh. Have I heard from Heidelin since then? Uh... Uh... Actually, no I haven't. I haven't heard anything from her yet. Not for a while. Oh, darn it. No, I don't want to skip this cutscene. Mm -mm. Haven't heard from her. Have you? When she speaks to neither one of us. Really? I silence pretends not but ill, I fear. Oh, this does not sound good. Louis Soir, I pray you yet watch over us. Hmm. Okay, so, um, Ocean Dancer, Crunchless Sage, this one, Circlet. Da 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 da. Oh! What's this? Very good. See that the provisions are prepared for transport. Let us hope this shipment is spared the fate of the last. What is it? The winds are uncommonly fierce this day. Oh, is that Ishgard? Huh. Oh! New stuff, new stuff. Okay, who are you? Is he the leader? Oh, his beard isn't as good as Ramos. Oh my gosh, all those soldiers. Holy crow. That's a lot of them. Oh, jeez. Labrea. And a lot of us? Oh gee, is he's being influenced by two Asians? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. Eorzea defended. Okay, so it looks like we have finished patch 2.3. Yay! Glad that we managed to get through all of it, but holy crow, that's a lot of stuff. Um so, that being said, next time around on Friday, uh, we'll get started into the next patch, which is, um, we'll see if we can get through all of it. I don't think we will, but we will see. Um, if I can't get through all of it, then obviously it'll have to be in two parts or something. So then I will carry on to the next week. 
but we are getting ever closer to gosh darn it what the hell um we are getting ever closer to uh the end of arr so um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut the stream here because obviously my internet connection is just being a royal pain in the arse today and i do apologize for that and especially if you're um, watching the VOD after the fact. It really wasn't my intention that it turned out this way. It just seems like my internet is not being that great today. I'm hoping that it'll be better come next time around. But thank you so much for joining me today. And Giovanna, thank you so much as well for the follow today. I do appreciate it. And hopefully I will see everyone around on Thursday um, for Final Fantasy. Now, um, for uh, non-Final Fantasy folks, uh, we do have uh, the lovely continuation of um, King's Quest Seven on Thursday, thankfully. Um, I think we'll be able to get through two more chapters and then two more chapters for the last week. Um, yeah, we'll see how far we can get there, and then I have to figure out as to what we're going to be doing after that fa After that one. I've got some ideas, but we'll see what happens. But again, thank you again so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it, and I hope that um, you, get, uh, you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Take it easy.